Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. Indeed. Uh, we do have some announcements to get through, uh, so bear with us. The first is our first sponsor for tonight NordVPN. <laughs> Travis, take it away. Travis? Travis? <sighs> You're late for training number two. Let's review the BBD, TLC, and Run DMC protocols. What's the point, Master? I've been training for giga months and still haven't seen any hashtag hacker 4TC10N. That spells action and leet speak. I know what it spells, damn it! Oh, sorry, hold up, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> why, why does Travis look like a cross between Frankenfurter and a Blackberry Curve? <laughs> His handle is number two, and I, Morpheus, have been cyber-training him ever since the greatest hacker of the Pepsi generation, Black Willow 69 at AOL.com, AKA had, Sam, the only man I've ever loved, was turned into a gleaming cube of cake, and the cast used their hacker personas to defeat the Ultra Codex. Hi, that was, that was me. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Thanks for the recap. So, uh, Travis, he's uh, oh, sorry, uh, number two. He's got the, uh, the, the the hacker skills to protect the ultranet from the crypto chaos or something. Well, I do jack in with the power of NordVPN. Here, watch me drop dead Fred your tablet's BAPS protocol. <laughs> Speed zero, speed one, speed two, cruise control! NordVPN are providers of highest quality encryption for your internet traffic and hide your IP and physical location with 5400 plus servers in 59 countries. It is easy to get better internet speed and protection with one simple click. And it is available on every major platform, including Windows, iOS, Android, and Linux. Go to nordvpn.com slash critical role to get a two-year plan plus a bonus gift with a huge discount. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow! So, so what, you you hacked my iPad with your hands? Yeah, my uh, virile virus skills don't matter. <laughs> Morpheus is wrong. There is no threat. <laughs> I'm control alt deleting out of the program. Negatory. You're too important, number two. The fate of the world. Hey, well, hold on. Can I have a hacker name, please? No. 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 Okay, fine. Guess I'll just plug in my iPad since you juiced all the battery. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Robbie, are, are you okay? Robbie! <laughs> Oopsie! Looks like I ganked your new Robbie, your new friend's body or something. I'm possessed, don't you get it? I spliced it to his mind and now I control his body like a Fortnite no skin. Observe! <laughs> Why am I hitting myself? Oh, why am I hitting myself, you poor friend? <laughs> oh man, what a turd. Who, who are you? Oh, oh, wouldn't you like to know, Boomer? I'm your worst nightmare, baby. I'm a troll that can't be stopped with your pathetic ones and zeros. Who am I? Oh, I'll tell you. Next time we get sponsored by NordVPN. Back to you, Matt. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, fucking done. Yes! Look at the background! Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Please put that on your reel. Put it on your reel and work What happened, guys? <laughs> you just missed it, Sam. I was late to the show. <laughs> just missed it. You're great. I have some awesome. notes. I think you're. I think you're. Dick. This episode is also sponsored by our friends at Ghostfire Gaming and their new episodic subscription service, Fables. Now, each fable consists of six episodes released monthly, and in each of the episodes are four chapters. And each episode is about 80 pages, and also comes with digital maps and digital tokens, making this the perfect all-in-one adventure. The first up is Grim Hollow Adventure, Citadel of the Unseen Sun, an adventure set within a world where the sun has vanished from the sky and vampires rule the land with an iron fist. Check it all out now at ghostfiregaming.com slash fables hyphen critical role. And if you sign up for the Fables membership before December 31st, Eastern Time, you'll get your subscription for $10 per month for the first 12 months, so check it out. Uh, next up, Liam, you got an announcement? Oh, holy half-elves, 
Kith and Kid is available. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. my gosh. This is the narrated by this guy with a little help from these guys. Pick it up at your local bookstore or via criticalrollbooks.com. We got a real book. It's a real book. Very weird. Very surreal. Thank you, Liam. Thank you. Uh, Laura, you got. I got stuff to say. You got a holiday I, drop here. I'm nervous to say it all. <laughs> but this, first, this one is like really super. Su- they're all super, super cool. But this one's super, super, super cool. It's our wait. Oh, did you already hold it up? It's our limited edition Sean Gilmore statue from McFarland. Twelve inches tall. He's beautiful. <laughs> anyway, he's uh, also exclusive to our stores, and he'll be in all of our stores. So check your store. If it's not there right now, it might be there soon. It will be there soon. <laughs> yes. Still oh, this is well distracted. <laughs> he's twelve, 12, 12 inches tall. <laughs> tall. <laughs> Um, <laughs> next up! Um, oh, you're holding these up. Here, oh, should we oh. say it or hold it? We're hold it, say it. We have white stone joggers! Oh, yeah. 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 oh the clock tower on it, that's so cute! Cool. Oh, I love that. Look at this beauty! Wow. They're, they're just the same as our other joggers, so super comfy. They're so comfy. They're not sweaty, um, they're not sweaty yet. Um, and this is designed by Grace Berrios! Yeah! Yay! Yay! Okay, Obviously. next up is our Alexandria postcard set! Whoa. This is really super cool, really and I've been super them. excited about this I'm for a while. This features different locations from around Alexandria, including. Oh shit. <laughs> I should have pulled this out before. Yeah, yeah this is what people yeah. want to see right yeah. here. Yeah. This is. Oh, 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 Oh my god! So angry oh, about future we projects of this group. Vasselheim? Oh, yeah. oh, I love the art style. Oh my god! Oh, those are pretty. Oh, wow. oh Corral? Yeah. Rex and Trim? I need to do it for a whole <laughs> Rosanna? They're, they're funny. Wow. And Rick's up suspense. AR, no. Okay. And, oh. and you get multiple ones of all of them. Oh, whoa. <laughs> and these were designed by Pretty wow. Useful. Check them out. Pretty useful cup. Pretty useful. Pretty sure when there's like the Mad cup. Money version of. Okay, merch. okay, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> Next up. <laughs> I, look, these have been out for a yeah. couple weeks, so if you've already seen them in our store, I'm sorry, but I'm really excited about these things, <laughs> and I've been waiting for these for a while. It's a little <laughs> three pack of little teeny books that are sticky notes. Oh, oh, really so cute. Cute. You guys, so these are so cute. Dude, cute. It's a little Chronicles of Alexandria. Oh, it's so cute. A little look. Oh no. <laughs> a little Dracotsa Prince. Who that one was designed by Adriana Baralugo, and this was Grace Berrios, and this one is a little Chaos Crew pulp novel. Oh. Yeah. And it was designed by Jordan Torrance, and look, they've got sticky notes on the inside. Whoa. Oh, they're so cute. I love them. <laughs> okay. Oh, and then the last thing that I'm going to talk about. Our second to the last thing I'm going to talk about <laughs> are we have koozies. We have koozies. We have koozies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Holders. Am I allowed to say is that a is that is koozie a thing? They're like twelve a inches. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. We've got drink holders. In the south, we call them koozies. Look, it's a nestled nook in. Mm. Wait, flip the other ones around. Oh, yeah, they all have critical oh, roll logo. Oh, and we've got Red Bar and Strong Jaw. Yeah, yeah. Strong Jaw. Can I have the nestled nook in? I want to use it tonight. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> and then. We call the koozies in the north as well. Do you? Yes. Are they all. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> It, does, it fits on a can. Ooh, that looks like By the way, it doesn't fit on a on a coffee cup <laughs> from a restaurant. We, we just let no, we the don't temperature mention. have our way with our drinks. But they do <laughs> fit on <laughs> cans. <laughs> okay, just edit that part total, out. Total chaos. Yeah. Here, give, me, give, me those. give me Yeah, fit it on a can. Yeah, it fits yeah, on a can. Show it on oh, a can, here. Travis. Okay. And then okay. the last the thing. Good, good. 40, <laughs> 40 minutes later. Yeah, okay. So what is Critical Role, anyway? <laughs> you can also wear channel. them as mittens. It's the worst oh, QVC oh, channel. Oh, oh, oh. Stick your fingers through the bottom if you so lose your at it. gloves. Why do they let me keep talking about I don't know! And then the last thing we have, I swear, is oh, this, good. and it's so pretty. Oh, it's oh, a Percy oh, shirt! Yeah, 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 that's actually, that's fucking awesome! Fuck yeah. Isn't it so cool? Shirt? It's Percy! 
Percy's first shirt. Percy's first shirt. Oh, this art is by Olivia. This this whole time. Olivia <laughs> Sampson. It's so beautiful. Sure. Look at that. <laughs> that's so cool. Purple yeah. shirt. That's beautiful. We're being told on Slack. He's so that pensive. Koozie is a trademarked. Oh, <laughs> Stop saying koozie. Woozies, woozies, woozies. They're floozies. I don't know. Uh, well, wait, anyway, we should we should get we should get some ADR so they can okay. they can replace it later. Drink holder. Drink holder. Cozy. Drink holder. Oh. Wait, hold. Can we also just get some room noise? Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> That's all I've got to talk about tonight. <laughs> is that all? What are we called? The drink sleeves? I don't. Band aids. Drink holders. Drink holders. Drink holders. Yeah. They're, they're, yeah, we'll okay. Fix it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll it's fix fine. It's fine. They float. float. Drink holders. Are they so cute? Drink, drink cuddlers. Okay. Drink cuddles. Back okay, to okay, you. okay. Sorry, I'm done. Well, then, that being the case, let's go ahead and jump into tonight's episode of Critical Role. <laughs> And welcome back. So, last we left off, the strange crew of wayward adventurers had come together, met, a, met themselves a group, helmed by Sir Bertrand Bell, then lost Sir Bertrand Bell, went searching for vengeance on the one that took his life through the right questions, the right contacts, located the abode of this strange, dark, seemingly corrupted dwarf and managed to, indeed, find vengeance for him. Upon returning and giving this information to Lord Eric's Estros, he, one, thanked you for doing so, paid you a bounty that he felt was necessary and right, given the circumstances. Um, mentioned that he was still working on a few of the requests that were made of the group, but was making headway and should have updates some point in the near future. And you were then, where we left off, heading out into the night air of the city of Drusar to rest your wounds and whatever else events you wish to utilize to wind down after a very, very long day. So. As you all step out into the night air, the faint mists beginning to slowly rise around the streets and the jungle below. What would you like to do? Spy by fire. I'm Works down. for me. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. All righty. You all eventually head to the familiar interior of the Spire by Fire, where the familiar burning hearth on the far end of the now bustling interior and the sounds of laughter and conversation greet you. You eventually settle within, find yourself a comfortable table that is not taken, <clears throat> and amongst the boisterous, if somewhat solemn atmosphere, given the circumstances that brought you here not but maybe a day or two before. You get a round of drinks, some food, and the space is yours. Well, that was a, an eventful couple of, couple of days, huh? <laughs> oh, boy, it sure was. They sure were, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of days, all strung together. Well, it seems like we're doing this then. What's this? Whatever this fucking is. Oh, this. What? What is this? I got a great idea. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to order sh seven shots. All right. Uh, <laughs> Ishir kind of gives you the nod. And says, yeah, what, what, what is he looking for? Seven of your whatever's cheapest. <laughs> All righty, I'll go ahead and pull it out for you. <laughs> Actually, ahead. just bring the bottle. This is going to be a this is going to be a thing. I like that bottle charge up. Goes ahead and grabs a handful of small glass receptacles and a 
somewhat sloshy looking dark brown liquid that settles within a, a faintly green clear bottle that looks like it may have cracked at one point and has been reaffixed with some sort of a, a medical wrapping, but it functions. Flips to the table, scatters the glasses out, this kind of uh, wide lion like grin smiling as he looks across the table. Well, as long as Ashton's taken care of you, you're all going to have a good night. So, we're going to play a little game that I learned a few years ago. Ooh, I like games. It's called, or at least what we call it is, What the Fuck is Up with That? <laughs> all right. <Okay. laughs> Lowest roll has to answer a question truthfully and not too vaguely. Ooh. Highest roll gets to ask it. Ooh. And then we drink. Uh, 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 are there stipulations to the drinking? Like, do you drink whether you win or you lose, or do you, you just drink? Everybody drinks. All right. Unless, unless we want to try and slow this down or anything. That's can I have a sip no. right now? Yeah, we can just fill you up again. That's prime fine. The, prime the pump. If we're going to be doing Wet this. the whistle. If you like, it can just be who asks and who answers. No, no, I'm, I'm fine with it. I just, I would very much like if we were maybe outside. Oh, was it loud? Yeah, it, it, the more I drink, it'll just get harder and harder. Mm -hmm. So, oh. if we could just sit outside, that'd Are we be... in an area that that is? I just you're uncomfortable. I feel like is you there said a floor we that's currently room? open that we can just take? This is six stories. Uh, there, you can go ahead and find a private room if yeah, you'd like to. Yeah, that'd be to. great. Like a karaoke room. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Thank you. Thank six you. stories of tavern. There's got to be an empty, empty room. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, well, the, the entire establishment is six stories, but up, uh, there is kind of a, an elevated floor up top where you can get a little bit of distance and the music is kind of quieter. Um, you find the space up kind of in the second overlooking space, not unlike the backgrounds behind you. Um, mm -hmm. You find these, you know, a handful of scattered tables that aren't as lively as the central floor, which feels connected to the energy of the city outside. So when you come up here, it's a bit empty, a bit cold. You see a handful of people that are intentionally kind of sticking to the shadows and either in the process of gambling quietly or having clandestine meetings and conversations that just watch as you enter the space and then go back to their quiet, hushed, monotone conversations. Um, but there is a, a table a little bit away from the chaos here where you can feel a little more comfortable. Is this better for you? This is wonderful. Okay. Thank you. Are those two uh, folks in the corner too much? If they get to be, we can scare them off. Yeah. Imogen, is it a, is it like a proximity? Yeah, like if I'm, I'm around too many people, it just gets a little uncomfortable, you know? And the farther f away I get, the, the less it, Oh, okay. It's intrusive. How far back is good? I mean, I really like not being in the city at all. Mm. But if that. we're here, this is a good distance. This is exactly how the game is played, it's by the way. Nice. Don't have to use proper proper nouns for any place or anybody if you don't want to incriminate anybody who is not yourself. <clears throat> but if it's about you, you got to talk about it. <laughs> Are we ready? No tapping out. Ooh, okay. No tapping out. <clears throat> no tapping out? I mean, do we drink before we ask the questions? Depends on how hard the question is. Okay. All right. Wait, wait, I have one more question. What if you don't drink? <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> yeah, I'll just fake it. What if you, what happens if you do? I'm just gonna take a handful of copper coins. Thank you, Ashton, that's very kind. One per round. All right. All right, would you break down if you did drink? Uh. I, I, well, I don't know if I drank a lot, maybe, but um, I think it would just kind of fall fall down my face. <laughs> Up and out, maybe just seep out maybe some of just the... Like out. cooking okay. monster. Oh, we could try. <laughs> Let's try. Okay. All right, I'm going to do a shot and see what happens to the liquid. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Ah. It vanishes inside you. <gasps> Can you feel it sloshing? Can I feel it sloshing? Do you move around a little bit? Sure. Yeah, it sloshes. Oh, I can hear oh. it. Wonder what's gonna happen to it next. <laughs> There's no real out. Is it dripping? Is, is it dripping anywhere? Is there any kind of like no, anything noticeable, like, like sparks yeah, or a, like a anything smoke. bad happening? Roll perception check. Oh, <laughs> Do we need to flip you upside you down? Oh, uh, that's a uh, uh, perception. Mm -hmm. That's a 18. 18. You give a very rapid, very intense glance, kind of just scanning the exterior of fresh cut grass and. No immediate signs of any sort of errant leakage. 
I'm no mechanic, but you look all right. Do you have like a small wonder flap somewhere? <laughs> you can see the eyes. I'd love to see oh your insides. Oh, no. you, you'd love to see my insides? Yes. Uh, I can't be I can't be opened up for repairs and stuff, but it's a it's a little bit of a difficult process. You oh, need okay. tools and, and stuff. That hurt. I aged a year with that. Yeah. <laughs> same. Same. Did you all go through the period where you thought that Billy Corgan of the Smashing Pumpkins was the little was brother the little in there? Yeah. 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 Same. Yeah, yeah. Same. Anyway. Small <laughs> one day! <laughs> Addendum to the rule also, if you have something you absolutely want to ask, you can challenge somebody, but if you roll lower, you have to answer a question from them, or and they can take suggestions. Are we rolling a, your standard D7 on this, or, or what, what kind of? Rollies! This is just straight rollies. Oh, cool. Rollies. Do we all have got, dice? We all have our rollies Here. dice, yeah. It's in your shot glass, I don't know why oh, this sure. is a, <laughs> It's a big hit in Marquette rollies. It's, <laughs> everyone, plays rollies. <laughs> everyone keeps it in their pocket just in case. <laughs> it's like right. pogs. Things are set. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh boy. Are we going? Yep. What do we do? We just roll. We roll. We're, roll. We're just rollies. Four. Oh, I think you're gonna answer. Sixteen. Fifteen. Ten. Seven. Five. <gasps> Ten. Shit. <gasps> Wait, who's answer? You're asking? Wait. I guess I'm asking. So the highest asks, the lowest answers. And yep. we all unless you want, unless you challenge somebody directly. Oh, this is my nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be one person directly. Yep. Huh. Or, um. <laughs> no, you, no, you have, have to ask you. Oh, oh right. It's a roll I, I, I rolled the lowest. Oh, yeah. I rolled the lowest. <laughs> new game, new game. Hang <laughs> 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 on. Well, we, we can open it up to, we, if you want, we can open it up to highest no. guess to ask. Start no. with the mm. basics. All right. Yeah. Mm. Jeff, this is advanced rollies. Mm. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. one of the alternate rollies. <laughs> Does she have to say what the fuck is up with that before she asks the question? Is that part of the, I love rules. Hmm. Uh, you have to say it at the end. Oh, okay, okay. And it, we can suggest. It's, it's a lot oh, of rules. we can suggest questions? Yeah. No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there's much I'd like to know. No! <laughs> you rule. Don't speak. Don't, Don't speak. Your clothes. Mm. Very fancy. That is a statement, yes. Keep them very clean. True. Almost as if you come from wealth. Mm. <laughs> what the fuck is up with that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I am but a humble bard. <laughs> I've never seen a bard in that nice of clothes. Yes, yes. My family has some money, yes. <clears throat> Where'd they get it? Where does anyone get money? Uh, generational, let's call it that. Inherited wealth. Are you a lord? Uh, lords, a broad term. Hmm. That's no, not a no. A, a, no, a noble no. of some sort? <laughs> Are you a prince? Oh, no, no, I am, I am certainly not. It's a broad term, Prince. <laughs> it really is. Mm. Wait, are you maybe a prince? Mm. Is, are we getting this? Nah. Is, is, is a prince broader than, than lord? Is it, is it prince a subcategory of lord? It's less official than that. Um, uh, let's say I'm uh, second in line to a very prominent family with a lot of money that you have probably never heard of. Doesn't he have to answer more than that? No, it's, I mean, unless there's an addendum waiting, uh, or if there's a specific title, but it doesn't actually we have to use proper clarification. nouns. Clarification. If, clarification, but no proper nouns. How long does one round of what Forever. the fuck is up with that last? Until we're satisfied. All right. <laughs> I, I have a slightly different uh, attack here. Mm -hmm. Are you uncomfortable to talk about your family like mm. this? Mm. It seems like you'd be proud to come from a, a fabled noble tradition. Mm. I'm proud of my family. Family is full of good people. But sometimes it's not enough. <laughs> what do you mean? <sighs> it's good to be good, it's fine to be good, it's fine to do all the things that are expected of you, but you know, my life is my life, and I would rather be here with you drinking uh, this diarrhea water looking <laughs> booze <laughs> than to be with my family, even though they are good, nice, wealthy people. So if I may, expectations were put on you and you're sort of going your own path to to forge a 
a personal identity apart from them? Sounds cliche when you put it that way. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just. Uh, no, not exactly. Um, more like expectations I put on myself that I would never be able to fulfill within my family. So, I found it easier to be on my own. And I've been for a while, until I realized on your own isn't quite as fun as I thought it would be. It's better with friends. Way that answer was Rollies free. <laughs> I feel pretty satisfied with that. Yeah. Rollies. <laughs> Cheers. You don't have to go twice. Oh, to Dorian. Oh. To Dorian. Prince Dorian. Oh, Prince Dorian. I've already had two, Dorian. thank you, Waterloo. Prince Dorian. Wow, <laughs> real life. Has a nice ring. I've never there. known a prince, prince before. Yeah. Damn it. So right right That's cocked. It's right here. Ooh. Ooh. Prince Dorian. What was that term? Cocked. What's that mean? <laughs> it means that your rolly was a little janky, and so you have to roll it again because you can't tell what number it was actually on. Why do you use the word cocked for that? Why wouldn't you? I got a 17. 12. I got a 12. I got an 18. 17. 13. 13. No, 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 Tim. No, 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 Tim. You're absolved. No, You're thank absolved. you, thank you. They can't have double rollies. So. <laughs> I'm 12. Is that oh. one lower? No. All right. And we got two 17s. And an 18. Oh, an 18. <gasps> oh, wow. Excuse me. Okay, so I'm asking the questions mm -hmm. to you. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Very shy over here, this one. What to ask you? Whatever you ask, he, they will say fuck in their, in their answer. <laughs> That's fucking true. <laughs> <laughs> it's the name of the game. Okay, this is just a very simple question. Have you ever been in love before? <gasps> you have to end it with? Oh. What the? Fuck is up with that? What the fuck is up with that? That was so good. <laughs> Have I ever been in love before? Huh? You know, I don't know. Fair. Not That's fair. Probably a no. Not fair. It's very hard to know sometimes. I if think. you don't know, then you <laughs> probably haven't been. Right? I thought I was in love before, but I don't know if I ever actually was. Would you care to elaborate? Sometimes it is very easy to misconstrue friendship for love, uh, lust for love. It's, it's very amorphous. I have, a bad, I have a hard time defining it to begin with. Um, and there's only really a couple situations where it might have even applied. That makes a lot of sense mm. to me. Do you still think about this person or persons? Not really, on occasion, but not really. How long ago was this? Oh, 10 years, give or take. Mm. You know, I don't think I've ever been in love either. I mean, that's not true. I deeply love Imogen. It's a very broad word, isn't it? It is. It's always bothered me. Should we think of a new word? For love. I mean, for, for every love. different, it depends Type on which. There's a lot that's a, that's just, it's like an umbrella word. It is an umbrella word. There's you lots of romantic love, love, though, when you're questioning. I think so, yes. I think so. Yeah, it's the difference between But now you've sort of broadened my thoughts on it. I've had a group of friends before. That's what I'll say. Did you love them? In the way one loves a group of friends, sure. What were they called again? That counts. Nobodies. The Nobodies. The Nobodies. Mm -hmm. That's a good name. It was a good crew. How'd we need to think of it? a name for our crew. We <laughs> do. How did they come by it? We, uh, Sorry, I didn't roll for that. No, it's okay, I'll keep going. Uh, we all grew up together. Uh, we all kind of had a shit time, uh, and it was a nickname that stuck, and we thought it was Kind of fucking funny. <laughs> and what happened to the nobodies? Uh, they left town. Except you. Except me. How come? Why? That's another question. Ooh. Uh, hmm. Shall we? Mm -hmm. Oh. Rollies. Oh, oh shit! No. Oh, oh dear. Balls. Nineteen oh, over here. Um, oh. Cocked. <laughs> okay. Hey, look at that. Oh, okay. that's a good perspective. Eighteen. 19. Two. Oh. Four. Four. <gasps> Four. But I already went, oh, so it's so up to. Oh, it's yeah. me? Yeah. Oh, so you so. get to ask her? I guess so. Um, I like this game so oh, much. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, boy, I don't know much about you, Fern. Uh, I, to find out. Yeah, I know, but where to start? I always That's assume you have questions about everybody. So I do, but so many, I it's hard to. I don't know. Narrow it down to one. Okay. Um, 
I mean, if we're if we're if we're doing this, some some people have a, a great regret in their life. What the fuck is up with that? What's yours? Oh wow! I don't think I've ever gotten you to say fuck before. That's great. Well, that's with the rules. So do I have a regret? <laughs> Hmm. Boy, that's a good question. Um, I do have some regrets, and I guess some of them I, I don't know how comfortable I feel like talking about yet. Um. Oh. Stunt you. Stunt you. I guess. I'm having a hard time answering this question. Well, I can change it up. I don't want to Give make you feel one. uncomfortable. No. Um, Give me another one. How about this? What Does did you? Does that count? I have to no. take another shot, but we'll talk about I'll it. I'll drink more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to pry, but this has also been bugging me. Uh, what did y'all come to town to do? Mm. Yeah, what the fuck is up with that? What the fuck is up with that? <laughs> Well, um, a lot of that is, is not my story, but um, we came here to, to visit this beautiful place and to, 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 to meet up with some friends of Orem and to check out how great this town is. Boy, oh boy. Um, what the fuck Dodge. is up with that? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm not very good at answering questions. Hmm. I'll try a third one. Maybe oh, we'll, no. we'll, go, we'll go easier. How about easier? Oh. Drink again, I'll allow it. Okay. I love, it. I love her so much. <laughs> <laughs> um, refused, lied. <laughs> True face spirit. How about this? How about this? How does it feel when you steal something? <gasps> oh, okay. What the fuck is up with that? Um, <laughs> that one excites like so. me. Well, you know, it's not, it's not necessarily a thing of, you know, the, the taking it that's exciting. I just like having things. And where I come from in my, in my bedroom, um, I keep all of my trinkets everywhere that I've, I've taken from all of my travels. But um, is there a reason why you liked being surrounded by so many things? Were you deprived of things as a, as a no, younger? No, not at all. I just... It just gives you comfort to be surrounded yeah, by stuff? I just, there's so many wonderful things in the world. Wait, wait, you, 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 you have a bedroom. I always thought you'd just walk around in circles and lay in a patch of grass or something. <laughs> <laughs> I can sleep anywhere. It's really a, a great skill. What does your but, bedroom look like? Oh, it's just... Beautiful. It's. I have a large window that I would look out of every day, and um, just decorated so beautifully. And I lived with my grandmother. Oh, who's she? Um, her name is Maury. She's Maury? so Maury, and she's lovely. W where did you hail from again? Um, I'm from the Feywild. Oh, that's right. Did you mention that before? I can't remember. I don't know if I did. That where is that far off? Mm-hmm. It's very far off. Wow. Okay. Well, who's next? <laughs> oh, Something about the question of what the fuck's up with that? The classic song. <laughs> and I have rolled that. this good this entire oh. campaign thus far. I just want to point that out. Six. <laughs> Six <laughs> four. Every time I turn on the one. Radio. Eleven over here. See. Seventeen. Ooh. Sixteen. Unless someone's got higher. But you already know everything about I her. I do know a lot about no, her. No, wait, which one of you two got the lowest? I got a one. Mm -hmm. There's always another layer of the onion. We could make That's another addendum. The, if, if you didn't want to keep asking questions, you could take the next lowest number, but I feel like it might be fun. I do have a question, okay. actually. Mm -hmm. All right. And I'm sorry. You don't need sorry. to play rollies with me in order to ask me a question. Oh, I know, but I'm just going to take advantage of it. Okay. <sighs> How are you feeling about your father and everything, yes, with the, 
the Chantry. Uh, the nope, nope. The Hussar. Who bought Corsair? Oh, oh, um. Genuinely, what the fuck was up with that? <laughs> we haven't talked about this. Yeah. Um, you have to give over your father's name for collateral. What is going to happen? It does make me a little nervous. What the fuck do I know? I don't know. No. I mean, I got a good feeling off of the people in there. Like they didn't strike me as the type that would just go out and and, and destroy my life for no reason. So unless we do right. something horrible to them, I don't think we have much to worry about. All right. I is hope. it? Sorry to bust in on your fuck no. is up with that, but is home <laughs> far off? It's. I mean, it's a distance. They'd have to travel a bit in order to get there. You know. It's up in the. Um... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is why I keep mine right Talon in front of me. Talent Islands. That's up in the Talent <laughs> Islands. She gets really excited about her hometown. It's so excited. It's just so high Very and beautiful. beautiful. Do, you, hmm? do you feel like you tend to get a good reading off people, or are you a poor judge of character? Or? Well, it's funny when you know you're actively blocking out their thoughts. Um, if you let it down for a second, you can get the true nature of people pretty fast. Um, I try not to do it, you know. Too often can get bad, but I mean, when I was growing up, when this started, people can be awful. They can seem so nice, but they can be awful. Yeah, so um, I'm not feeling too worried All right. about my dad. Plus he's, you know, why would they go after him, you know? So. Do you think he's doing well? I know we left in kind of a hurry. Yeah, um, I think he's a, uh, You know, it was probably a long time coming. He was probably happy that I'm gone. And he might be doing a bit better now that I'm not there. What's, what the fuck's up with that? I feel like there's some context necessary yeah, what, for this. What, what happened? You have a falling out with your pa? No, 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 my dad's great. Um, and he tried, you know. Um, when things started happening, and I, it wasn't like that growing up, you know, I didn't have all of this. I, I don't know why it started. Um, it was hard for him, you know, because I didn't want to be around very many people. And um, he just kind of, he distanced himself because he knew it made me more comfortable. And, um, you know, the people in town started talking and I think he, he tried to distance himself socially as well for a while to try to, you know, not his fault, totally. From you or from the people in town? Uh, a little bit of both, you know. Was that very lonely for you? It was for a while, yeah. Um, but it, it was really bad there for a while. <laughs> you know, when Londa came to town, it was the first time I'd really felt any peace for a long time, so. Um, yeah. I don't know why I didn't think to get out of town faster. It was actually really great when we left. How long have you guys been traveling together? Just two years. Yeah, just over two years now. Yeah. Uh -huh. We're pretty good at being hermits together. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah. Drinks? I'm satisfied. Mm. <clears throat> All right. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. I need to roll higher. God, keep rolling right in the middle. Nine. Nine. Ten. Thirteen. Ooh. Ooh here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Who's, who's the highest roll? I think it's Fern asking Orm. <clears throat> oh. Should I go? I was the highest? Thirteen, right? Thirteen? That was the highest roll. Wow. Ooh. Oh, boy, I feel like I know a lot about you as well. If you can't think of a question, I've got one. Yeah, we've you got do? Tons yeah. Of oh, yeah, go for it. 
What are you doing in town? What are you trying to get done? What the fuck is up with that? Turn the screws. Boy, I feel like he kind of just left the door open. I'm really sorry. Could have asked him what his favorite color was, I suppose. Yeah. If you're too uncomfortable to talk about, you could always take a drink, and then we can ask you something else. Ask you again the exact same question. How worse I drink, and I get to skip the question. I'll drink with you. I'll answer the question. You'll answer the question? Zone of truth. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit will do. It's what the fuck uh, uh, am I doing here in town? What the fuck are you trying to get accomplished in town? You don't have to use any proper names if you don't want to. Um, and you don't have to incriminate anybody. I am on a bit of a fact finding mission, I guess. Um. I uh, represent um, my home. Shari. Right? And somebody uh, fucked with my home. And I'm here because some breadcrumbs maybe are leading here. To the person responsible for messing with your home? Maybe. Like in what way? Did they just destroy the village, or did they? No. Village. I don't know. Is it a town? Is it? It's a... pretty big. It's hard to reach. Um, pretty powerful folk there. Um, just there's rumors on the wind of um, similar, similar trouble here. Maybe, and I've just been sent to sort of sniff it out. So, like, you're high up in this city, or? Uh, the city's high, that's not what you mean. Like, like they decided to send you for some reason. Yeah, are you the chief enforcer, or mm. some, some sure, massive of Yeah, well, I'm good with this, but no, I'm not in charge or anything. I, j I happen to be traveling already for a while. That's how I stumbled into these two. We did get to see his hometown, and it's, mm -hmm. It's quite cool. lovely. Mm. Huh. Um, no, but I, uh, I spent time around the people in charge, and um, because they knew that I was traveling, they just thought that I was a good candidate. Follow up, if I may. You don't have. It seems like you want to go easy on the details, which is fine. But I'm just curious if you don't succeed. Are you worried most about disappointing someone or disappointing yourself? Yeah. But I'm just, I'm gonna do what I can. Mm. And I'll do it while I'm traveling with these two, and maybe with you guys for a bit, if that's okay. Well, we can help if yes. we know what to look for. In fact, I'm. Not sure what our next plans are. Oh well, yeah. Maybe we should keep that into consideration. Well, uh, good old Alex is, I think, able to introduce me to someone I'm here to find. Mm. Oh. Uh, but also, there's a lot of holes under this place. What the fuck is up with that? <laughs> <laughs> Literally and figuratively. Mm -hmm. Follow-up question. Can I stop telling people we're on vacation? <laughs> <laughs> I think we can all tell I'm not the greatest at, at lying sometimes, so. I was fooled. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Did anybody actually believe y'all were on vacation? Probably no. No? no. 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 Didn't no. work? No. Not even close. But it's a thought that counts. Yeah. I, I mean, don't I... know many people that go on vacation with swords. Really? Oh, I know plenty. <laughs> two, two more rounds at least. We got two more rounds. I should say well, it's just that you and me, right? I've been rolling oh, and I am rolling poorly in my attempts to keep my wall up. Mm -hmm. So I, I would say I'm probably getting open mind at this point. <clears throat> One more drink and I think you'll, you'll cross that, that threshold. Why don't y'all roll, because only me and Laudna are left to answer. Correct. Maybe y'all should just roll to see who asks. Mm -hmm. Should we so just we roll between the two between of us? Two. Yeah, oh, to see who answers first. Double rollies. Double rollies. Three. 
16. So does that mean you, well, you choose. I guess what I'm about. I don't know. I think you answer first. You answer. Right? Okay, I answer first. 16. Oh, I got a 20, I have a question. <laughs> 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 Sounds legit. Yeah, that's legit. It was legit. a 20, it is a 20. Yeah. <laughs> I've traveled a decent amount, probably not as much as some. One time, I met someone sort of like you. Really? Where was that? Uh, someone visited home. Oh. Uh, but they were nothing like you. Okay. And I'm just still uh, kind of blown away. I, 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 I don't know what I'm asking. I don't know how old you are. I don't know how you came to be. Are, are, have you, are the people, are the the others that you talked about, oatmeal and pussy, are they <laughs> Shit. the only ones and you pie. ever knew? Apple and pie. apple pie, oh, sorry. Oh, that's right, don't forget about I really like oatmeal. Mm. Um, are they the only ones like me I ever knew? Yeah, or are there more, or where do you come from, and what the fuck is up with that? <laughs> uh, well, it up, it up, it up, it up. Uh -oh. I, Stop oh, no, it. That shot? I, I. What's happening? That. <laughs> <laughs> Is this how he dodges questions? No, not at all. Are I, you okay? I just don't. I. <gasps> you have no memory. Do you not have access to that? <gasps> you don't have access. But, Access? What do you mean? I don't, I don't understand. understand. <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> sounds right. For sounds and I right. don't really know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. Actually, the first I'm just really excited. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I can pick this up. Dan dancer, dancer, dance, dancer created me. I asked uh, too much. Do you know how old you are? Uh, I was with Dancer for uh, almost two years. So two. All right. Okay. Or two. Well, yeah, but you know, I, I don't age like like y'all. So careful, she she loves babies. I can addend them into this. Loves babies. Mm -hmm. Can I just? Come here. <laughs> <laughs> if, it, if it makes you feel good, go then yes, of course. <laughs> you just hear sloshy. <laughs> I can hear the water, the drink in there. I have a question. Can I ask a question? Can you ask can I, a question? I'm sorry, can I ask a question? <laughs> can I get another round for my question. friend here, please? You got the bottle, you got the bottle. There yes, you go. my lord. That's funny. I, I have to ask you a question first. Does he does he ever does he power down ever? Yeah, yeah, sleep I mode. Into, sleep I mode. Go into a stasis state. Yeah. When you're in sleep mode, do you do you dream? Ooh. Oh, good Ooh. question. Whoa, boy, oh boy, that is a great question. Wow, is it sheep? Ah. Uh, is it open? You know what? I don't think I have ever dreamed yet. But then again, maybe I haven't. I just don't know what it's like. Dreaming is, I've heard y'all soul touched folks talk about it. It's like memories and stuff that you have at night, right? Sometimes. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. or, just be... or imaginations. But sometimes mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense. Oh. Mostly it doesn't make sense. Yeah. I don't see any reason why I would have one, but. I don't see any reason why I would not. I just haven't yet, I don't think. Do you ever wake up and sometimes you're just in such a bad, awful mood and you don't know why? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes that can be a dream and you're just thrown off all day. I thought maybe. No, why would, why would you start the day with a, with a, with a sourpuss? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> maybe, maybe you should intentionally shoot for it. Like sometimes you can, you, like before you go into stasis, just okay. have, have an intention. An have intention, like something to think about, or? I'm going to have a dream. I'm going to dream about 
I don't know, something, whatever the fuck you like. All right, this is a great goal. Yeah. I can do that uh, tonight. I think it's a great idea. If you ever have a dream, let us know. Yeah. You okay? I'm fine. <laughs> 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 I'm going to sur surreptitiously uh, finish Dorian's drink when he's not looking. So he has less. Also, this whole time I've been um, gathering uh, scrap chicken bones, and I've been uh, other leftovers, and I've been kind of under the table, just spinning some of my twine. And Terrifying, great, yes. all right. All right. <laughs> Little Blair Witch doll. Yeah. <laughs> Who gets to ask the finished. last question? Yeah. Are those teeth? <laughs> Rollies. 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 Who gets to ask the last final one. question. <clears throat> Boo. Dang. Mm. Eleven. Seven. Two. Seventeen. Oh. Thirteen. Oh. You go. Did you roll? Oh wait, but she knows you already. I rolled a nineteen. Oh, oh. do it. Yeah, do you it. probably got a good one. Yeah. Oh, there's really I I don't know much about you, Laudna, at all. You don't. You're from a place called Whitestone? That's kind of all I know. Mm-hmm. Um, boy, boy, what do we ask? I, I need to huddle up with everybody else for a no, second. No, 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 this, we, we can give, what's, we can give what's good so here? What, it's, it's, it's a deep well. I mean, has she, has she always been that way, or did some shit happen as a good I don't one? want to probe into her, you know, it's literally physical. what we're here, I mean, we just probed into yours. I wouldn't have, did, you know. I'm, I'm okay well aware with that, of what, what I've got going on. You can ask fuck. me anything. All right. I'm not. Yeah. Are too you shy. dead? What the fuck is up with that? <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, um, I'm not entirely sure. I think so. You think you're dead? I think I'm. I'm. I'm like a. Some cross in between life and death. Not, not totally alive, but what not happened? totally dead. Alive. Well, I definitely died. Wait, okay. And we, then I just. How did that happen? Have, well, okay, so no, no, you just no, tell no, your story. You tell your story. Well, I died, <laughs> and then um, I woke up. I woke up, and I was surrounded by a lot of other corpses, and uh, all of Whitestone was. I was just in a complete panic, run amok, just death and disease and nightmare everywhere, and I didn't know what happened, so I ran. But, um, yeah, I, I, uh, I haven't really aged. How long ago was that? 30 years. Time. 30 Whoa! years! <laughs> so you were this age, this age when it, you died? How old were you when you passed away? 20. And. Do you know, happen to know how long you were dead for? So I think long, 48 hours, a couple days. Wow. So you're 50. Holy shit. Is he a kid? Bad kid. I'm 50. Uh, do you remember anything about your previous life? Oh, yes. Well, oh, you do. Of it. Okay. You're not, a, like, you're not just an, uh, an elf or... No, I was a human. How can you be dead? Hmm. And who brought you back and how? Yeah, weird fucking yeah, you said you died, you died and then you woke up. Whoa, there was a bit in between there. Yes. Yes, I, don't, I always had um, innate magical capabilities when I was a young girl. Mm. and So I don't know, I think whatever happened in Whitestone on that night, um, I think I got hit with some sort of necromantic magic. It was like a blast. It just, I don't know, started, just kind of hit me. And then I was alive. But here, look. I'm gonna grab, do you, can you feel things? Yeah, sure. Hmm. You feel like a heartbeat every like 20 seconds. Oh, you're very athletic. Yes. <laughs> so your heart does beat. It does, just very. You have slowly. hopes. You have fears. Mm hmm. You have loves. Of course. Sounds you, like you're alive to me. When you 
died, was everything at home good before everything went bad, or were things bad? Oh, it was complicated. We were simple farmers on the outskirts of town and lived a very humble life. Did have a lot of money, and as such, my parents were a bit naive. They weren't really connected to the going-ons and the political specter of Whitestone, and I think we just kind of walked into a bit of a trap. They were wanting to give me a better life, and they knew that their daughter, magical capabilities, could maybe go forth and become something more. Unfortunately, um, the stewards of Whitestone at the time had a different opinions. Do your parents know what happened to you? They're dead. Any family left? I don't think so. All right. I'm no. very sorry. These people in Whitestone, the stewards, you said. Yes. They killed you? Mm-hmm. The Briarwoods. The Briarwoods? Mm-hmm. We should find them and... Oh, and they're gone. They're long dead, too. Oh. <laughs> One of them kind of pops in my head, though, every now and then. What's that mean? What? Say that again. What? One well, uh, voices in my head. Oh, kind of like Imogen. Mm-hmm. It's like different. Kinda. It's. I think it's why we bonded so quickly, and I think just whatever magical bond we have it just works. Two years together. What, mm-hmm. what were you doing for the? Previous 28. Just running from town to town, I would go and I would find the little shacks in the woods that were abandoned and then I would fix them up and then inevitably the town would be like, oh, there's a witch in the woods, ah, oh, kill her, Lorelei, blah. And then um, <laughs> some cleric would come or holy person would come and be like, ah, oh, days, the undead witch, blah. And I would run and I would do that again and again and again. Mm-hmm. Like a cool TV show. <laughs> <laughs> very repetitive. Yes. It was very much a um, little cabin fixer-upper type of <laughs> lifestyle. But you're okay now being dead? Like, you're, it doesn't cause you sadness anymore? Um, this is the wildest conversation, I swear. Yeah, no, it's this, this game always ends well. Wow. I think we've just gotten used to it, you know? I've been surrounded by death for quite some time now, so. Mm. Wow. That's, That's fucking great. That was a great fucking story. That was a great did game. I did I do it right? Oh, oh kill that it. was kill so it. good. <clears throat> Thank you, Ashton, for that amazing idea. <sighs> one. Wow. Fuck. That's the end of that one. Now what do we do? I think now we sleep this off and see how we feel in the morning. Is everyone okay after that last one? Does anyone feel like they want to get into more trouble? I don't think I'm no. up mm. to getting into more trouble. Well, would you play us a song, my lord? Oh, uh, oh sure. Prince Dorian, please play us uh, a beautiful song. Oh, I can't I wait to hear it. Do not like that nickname. Do you know Jordan Fetch My Whiskey by any chance? Jordan <laughs> Fetch My Whiskey? <laughs> Is that a joke? He, He's Jordan, right? No? Never mind. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm going to tune my lute, but I am not tuning my lute. It's like, boing, 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 boing. It's really out of tune. It's very bad. How about something from your childhood? Oh. Yeah, like one of your your royal songs. Mm. I'll pull out the flute. Okay. And, uh, I will try to play a lovely Genasi ballad. Go for it. Go ahead and roll a performance check. Fingers crossed. It is not lovely. Uh, <laughs> it's all right. It's a uh, thirteen. Thirteen's oh, fine. Yeah, I, I forgot how high my You're modifier was. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah. Thir- thirteen for a slash. It's, it's not bad. It's not too bad. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> this is chaos. Dorian's failed performance check. <laughs> Hurtful. <laughs> All right, I'll toot my flute for whatever a 13 can get me. Well, 
just like to describe the the mood it carries. Yeah, it's obviously a little loose, but um, it's light more than anything. It's slightly dissonant. Um, you know, if you're listening to it and you're watching the fire, you could almost be fooled to think that the the sound and the rhythm is affecting the way the flame moves, and it's very peaceful. It's not quite a lullaby, but um, it, it does put your heart at ease when you hear it. This motherfucker. <laughs> mm -hmm. If someone were perchance accidentally reading your thoughts while you were playing this music, mm -hmm. would, um, what sort of emotions would you be feeling in the inside right now? Well, you may, you are welcome Cast to roll whisper. a wisdom saving throw if you wish to resist it. Uh, do I, do I feel, would I, do I, do I, do I that's a good, does one feel this <laughs> when you? It's, it's less about them actively resisting it and more uh, <laughs> if they're yeah, guarded. I'm not trying to push into your thoughts that. right now. It, it's private, but I'll, ro I'll roll against it since it's private. Okay, I you think. are pretty trashed. Okay. So I'll say it's <laughs> disadvantage. disadvantage. Yep. <laughs> Not gonna need it. That's a one. Uh, <laughs> open book. Open, open book. book. Open open book. What? Do you want to whisper? Me? Whisper. Yeah, go over and yeah. whisper into you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. 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 I've been sitting on this all week. It worked better than I could have hoped. Uh, oh. uh, PVP. Guys, besides NordVPN, <laughs> which oh is fantastic. Oh. Kith and Kin is available now at criticalrollbooks.com. Oh boy. Don't forget ghostfiregaming.com slash fables dash critical roll. Yep. Good and timing. other things. <laughs> 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 All right, to bed, and then we decide in the morning where we're going, or, or should we tell where we're going now so that Matt knows what the fuck to think about? <laughs> I'll figure it out. Okay. okay. <laughs> Was, was it Matt bring me another whiskey? Oh, it was Jordan. Jordan, fetch me Jordan fetched me one. Well, Matt the, fetched me whiskey. Hear the heavy, familiar footsteps of uh, Ishir come up to the, to the second floor with another bottle and be like, "Hey, you're gonna need another." Uh, no, I think I think we're gonna just uh, rooms, 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 rooms. I think we're good. I all right, how many rooms we got? Seven, seven rooms. Oh, we can. Oh, yeah, we're good. So we'll share. We'll share. Did all you right. guys wanna? We could do what we did on the road. Yeah. Mm. The airship. Three rooms. rooms. Three rooms. All right, all three right. Three big rooms. Yeah, three big rooms. If you wouldn't mind, that'll put you at a. We'll say a golden half. Oh, I think. I think I. I I'll, have it. It's fine. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Thank you kindly, miss. You're welcome. All right. I like this place. Sleep it off well. Heads yeah, back so downstairs. See you at breakfast. What the? May I also oh. have the extra bottle, please? Oh, well, okay. that'll run you. We'll say here about uh, about five gold for the bottle. Okay, great. I'll give you ten silver <laughs> instead. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> Can I pay you in ones? Nines. <laughs> <laughs> Nine. Nine. <laughs> Yeah, no, sorry, honey. That's not how it works. It's uh, oh. I have to I have to make a profit to keep the business running, and uh, paid more than that for the for the bottle when it was supplied to me. I understand. I'm not from here. There's a margin, here, so. But five gold. I I, I got this. Five no, gold. No, no, no. That's gold. too much. Too that's fucking too much. late. Too fucking late. Five okay, gold. Okay, okay, okay. You got a good friend here, in Ashton. <laughs> you know, I'm glad you got a friend, Ashton. <laughs> Gives you the bottle. <laughs> Thank you. Would have charged me less if I had asked. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> Keys are distributed. You have the three rooms at your disposal. Well, before we depart, I grab Dorian. Mm. I know you were feeling just so guilty about poor Bertrand's. Mm. And I just, um, here, I just wanted you to have <sighs> this. And it's a um, Bertrand doll <laughs> made it with I knew it. chicken oh, bones, shit. and I, I took that the hair dark. that I cut off of Bertrand <gasps> to make his actual oh, hair. Oh no! And True Detective season five. And he's got a little oh, cane. Maybe he'll he'll remind him of you oh, when you get sad. Oh 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 
is lovely. <laughs> you are so talented. Oh, stop. Stop. I will. Tr- I will treasure Tiny Bertrand for it. As you as you look at it, the thing that affixes like the head to it, like something gives, and the head just goes like <laughs> on its own. <laughs> Does it come with little puppeteer? Little well, that is. Um, I could give you some string. But that's okay. Oh, no, I'd rather just look at it. I'd rather just look at it. <laughs> so, oh, it's so gorgeous. Let me know. I could teach you some puppeteering. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. And I'm gonna try to put these greasy. Chicken bones, like in my bag or something, for the time being. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Well, you know, it's very cool. It's a very cool place, and you know, it's home. How did you? How did you go from there to here? Well, I just, I just walked. Wow. I didn't know that was something someone could do. Well, I, I, I guess it is. I you gotta show me how to do it. I, I swear, will. I didn't even know the Feywald was a real place. You know, people have talked about it, but I thought it was just stories. <gasps> really? Yeah. Oh, it's all, it's, we'll have to go there sometime. I would love that. Yeah, I, 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 I would <laughs> love to introduce you to my grandma and all of my friends there. And I have such a, a wonderful group of, of people that I, I just love there so much. How, how long have you been on Exandria? Well, let's see. Um, maybe s- s- seven months? <laughs> Give or take, yeah. Mm-hmm. Seven or eight months, something around oh, there. Wow. Not very long. Wow! Yeah. Mr. Grass, um, I just wanted to apologize. I feel like maybe I went too far. Not at all. I'm sorry. I couldn't give you a more satisfactory answer. I just don't have the information. I think. I I felt like I might have made you uncomfortable, and I that wasn't my intention to. Not, not at all. I. I don't play I'm, a lot of drinking games. Me neither. When everyone goes to sleep, I think I'm going to hang upside down and. <laughs> Just drain myself because I don't think this is good. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm still holding it. <laughs> it's, it's, Could you just you spin me, me over? Me yeah, just turn, just maybe hit my. And as soon as you finish hit my, it just like <laughs> dribbles out <laughs> like a turned over gas can. Wait, just like hold him for like a minute and let the last of it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Like it went anywhere. Yeah. Is there any no, waste not, though? Not. Yeah. I mean, when I eat a pie, something happens. It goes away. <laughs> but like I've seen you eat, you know, copper or two. Does it? Is there? I was a not. Hatch or? I was not built with a poop shoot of any of any sort. So what happens to the little pieces that you eat? The copper. Yeah. yeah. Or other things. They they get absorbed into my body to make repairs. Wow. And there's nothing left over. It's right here. It's all over me. I want to look in there so bad. <laughs> you keep coming back to that. I know, it's just so interesting. I'm not sure I like the way your eyes look right now. <laughs> <laughs> I won't hurt you, I promise. <laughs> Next time I need a, a, a significant repair, I'll let you come I would take love a peek. To help. Yes, yes, okay. absolutely. Thank you so much. Sleep? Yes. Yeah, let's do it. If you've got shit to be handled in town, you should handle it with a group. I'm just saying, this is a good good way to handle your shit. You should handle your shit. I agree. Mm. And there are people here who will help you handle it. I think I finally had too much. I'm going to sleep. All right. We well, need a group good talk. Yeah, The shit handlers. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's good. The shit like, handlers. Like just before shit. we all break for bed, really? Short this is when we're coming Shit handlers. Yes. <laughs> Wait, it feels Everybody derivative. Sit back down. If we're going to have this discussion, let's have it. Oh. Shit back down. Wait, shit back one. down. And you'll hear a tale. <laughs> we're going to choose a group name right now? I think well, we should. you keep bringing it up. Well, I just feel like. I just feel like it's weird. Well, we just met. You know, met. we can't make our contract. Next round. So Next round. I'm so sleepy, I'm so sleepy. Laudna, may I 
Mm. Oh, you're like the cool side of a pillow. You just hear my shoulder dislocate. (laughs) 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 There's just a little bit of bone piercing (laughs) through. (laughs) Right to the temple. (laughs) If you continue to sit here much longer, I'm going to be reading all you guys' thoughts. No, we're we're going to go get. Oh, we're in the Battle Royale Rise. Yeah, everybody. And I'm out. All right. Mm. As we go to bed, I'm just going to. Right before I, I shut down, I'm gonna just think, dream, dream. Oh. And dream. you hear me say, I think you can do it. I'm dreaming. <laughs> you all find your various rooms to rest. Uh, Laudna, as you were starting to doze off a bit in the, that kind of bit of, of gentle quiet, you do hear a familiar whisper. It says, Careful, dear. Some things are meant to be kept secret. Oh, oh hello, oh my god, it's been so long since I've heard from you. What have you been up to? Oh, come on, Dee, just tell me. Please, just be careful. Oh, I didn't say anything that's not like public knowledge. So back off. <laughs> that's the end of it. Good night. Is she talking to you? Yes, she's mad because I got chatty. Has she ever done anything if you get in trouble with her? If I get, like, have I gotten in trouble with her? Yeah, I mean, I know she's been pissy before, but has it ever come to anything? I don't know, has it ever come to anything? It's come to tense conversations. Yeah. And threats of Denying her gift. Her gifts, right. But not yet. Gift. Yeah, she'll. Wow, it took me that long to yeah, put it man. together. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She'll sometimes, you know, fuck. be like, oh, I helped made you. You would be nothing without me. Mm-hmm. I can take what I can give. Blah, blah, blah. She All does right. that sometimes, but she's never really done it. We gotta get into that institute. I know. I can just keep strengthening my skills without her. You won't need her. I won't need her. If she's listening. Oh, she probably is. It's an excellent point, though. I've never really strayed far from her, from her up until recently. Right. Well, I'll keep you posted if she starts getting Aggressive. Yeah. One of the reasons I think we need a group name. The sooner we have it, the sooner we have a contract, the sooner we can get in there. That's true. Right? We'll keep thinking on it. Maybe um, something will inspire us in the next day or two. Yeah. How are you doing? You looked a little pale there at the end. Oh no, I just, I was trying really hard not to get into everybody's head, you know what I mean? Yeah. I sneaked into Dorian's for a second. What you see? Come on, tell me. Just him with his mom. It, it was quite nice. Oh. Yeah, he's a sweetheart. He is a sweet boy. Hmm. Sleep well. All right, you two, wake me up if you have any other nightmares. All right. You know I will. Okay. The evening comes to you. Rest, necessary physical respite after a very arduous leave. <laughs> uh, damaging experience. Um, but through the night, you get your long rests. You can go ahead and mark that. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Uncertain if dreams found you, fresh cut grass, but. There is a little bit of joy in going to 
into your familiar stasis with a goal in mind. Mm -hmm. But nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. With that, eventually the morning comes. The warmth of day begins to creep in through your various chambers. And the day is yours. As you all begin to one by one muster yourself, your materials, your equipment, and then wander downstairs, mm. you begin to gather again on the bottom floor of the Spire by Fire and gather once more. What would you like to do? Mm. Roll, 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 roll. Mm. <laughs> Morning, all. Morning. Morning. No, but what are we doing today? We have a few options. Okay. As I see, oh, what? Did it happen? Oh, yes, did you oh. dream? <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, I, nothing out of the ordinary happened. I'm you sorry. twitched a couple times. I did? Yeah, That's I haven't progress. seen it before. I feel like I heard you through the wall saying like, oh no, no, no. Oh, I have bad dreams? It's horrible. I'm just lying. Oh. <laughs> 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 Well, that's reassuring. <laughs> I thought I should have. I should have said like, "Oh, something." Else. That's a logical liar, Fern. Oh my god. Well, we have. Um, now that we've learned a bit about each other from last night, we know that some of us have specific goals. Finding your quarry that yeah, you've been kind of a line. I just need to keep checking in. Um, we, we have that that we could pursue today. We, we could go to the Starlight Conservatory, is that what it's called? We can go there, but it's useless until we get that contract. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Then there's also the the um, investigating what caused those uh, chairs and tables to come to life. That's I don't know how we would do that. That's been bothering me for a while. That's been bothering me this whole time. That was right outside of here. Yeah. Or, or tracking down the source or intended uh, recipient of that broomstone that we stumbled upon. Um, I'm about or that. I think didn't um, uh, Lord Eshra say that they would have some more work for us, and then possibly did someone else offer us work too? Am I forgetting? I feel like someone offered oh, yeah, us work. Oh yeah, we could yeah. we could let um, the who about corsairs? Corsairs. Mm -hmm. We could let the corsairs know that we did away with old Duger. I like yes. that idea. Yeah. <laughs> we should probably ask uh, Lord Eshra's first. If that's all right. I think we did already. I don't know. Yeah, we talked. We talked to him and said, "Is it okay that we didn't use your name?" And he said, "Only if only if they things like are cool." Yeah. yeah. Then he mm -hmm. said, them, "Yeah." So, so they might like us more, and then we could say his name, and then we could create that introduction. Well, what do y'all think? We did them a favor too. So hmm. we did one is, last thing for them. Is that to the try. most pressing matter, or or is there something that should we investigate? Pull the thread of your. Uh, your person that you're here to find? Well, that lies with Lord Estros. Oh, it does? Yeah. Okay. All oh, things so, lie with Lord Estros. I guess we go there? I mean, do you think he's had any developments in the past 24 hours? You gave him the goop, right? I did. We did, the goop was given. Okay, the it was given in the evening of last night yeah. when you guys went to him. So it's been maybe 12 hours. <laughs> I, say, I say we tell the Corsairs what happened and then see if it's time to, if, if that seems to, that way at least we're cementing a relationship. Yeah, and we yeah. just saw Estros last night. Yeah. Right. Seems a little... Do we remember the good password? Wasn't there a good yes, one, bad do. one? It's come to loosen the share. The snare. The snare. The snare. Is, I think, what it looks like, what I wrote. That's a snare. Yeah. That's a snare. Snare. So to the Corsairs, then? Yes, yeah. let's do it. That Back is. over the bridge. And down, because we like do to the go. the lantern spot. We love going back and forth between this. Yeah, and the yeah you do. You guys keep jumping back and forth. <laughs> Well-tread territory, and thankfully, the the two areas that have an actual physical bridge, so you don't have to pay yeah. to get across each way. So that helps too. Okay, gathering your things, finishing a modest breakfast, uh, you head over towards the Fate Walk Bridge across to the Lantern Spire, and then following the familiar path that Ashen leads ahead of you once again. You head to the Elder Post tunnel system beneath into the uh, early morning era of the bazaar, in which case it is much quieter. You can see that a lot of the bustle that you saw when you initially approached is still in a, a 
a closed down state and a lot of the spaces are empty. A lot of the carts have been pulled away and are just you have no idea where they've gone. It, it seems like it would be too much for everyone to to remove and then reset up every single day, but you've also seen some people quickly disassemble and condense their kind of shopping, you know, uh, experience into a very compact and very rapidly escaping mechanism. Um, but as you head into the space, the low oil lantern still glowing about, there is still a handful of individuals, you know, a few dozen that are kind of wandering around the outskirts of what is now currently the central open space with a handful of smaller uh, structures that are either still shuttered or in the process of being set up for the day. Is, is the baker around out of curiosity? Mm -hmm. uh, you can certainly check around. Yeah. Go ahead and make a perception or uh, either a perception check or a charisma check <laughs> to ask uh, around. Perception check. Okay. Charisma's a thing. Nope, I got a one. Oh, oh buddy. No. <laughs> uh, looking, looking around, you do not save, have any sight on the Shadow Baker, and there's probably a good chance that either he has not arrived yet or is not wanting to be found. All right. As we uh, finish this last bit of the stretch of the journey, hey, I want to role play with you for a second. Yeah. Oram walks alongside Imogen, uh, <laughs> and when he thinks that most of the group are not paying attention, he looks up at her and says, Imogen, yeah. that thing that you do, you know, that thing that you do, yeah. um, are you doing that to us, like, all the time? No, or? I'm really not, I swear. But, or a little bit? No, I'm trying not to, I don't, I don't want to. Okay. Is there anything that we can do to make that easier, easier on you? Yeah, yeah other think. than fifty feet away. <laughs> don't think. Don't think ever. Um, no, I swear it's you know. I've worked a long time at at, at blocking it out. It just sometimes it gets a little harder. It's easier if there's less people. This this size of a group is something. Yeah. But. You know what I've noticed since I've been around y'all, which is really interesting. Like all the time, it, it almost sounds like a like a swarm of, of bees. You know, we are a swarm of bees. No, no, no. Everyone, everything is just so much. But, and it, it's the same sort of feeling that I had with Lana the first time I met her. It was, it was, it was there. She was there. But she was at almost like a different, a different pitch than everybody else. It was musical. It wasn't painful like everybody else. And you're getting that with us. It's not quite there, but I'm getting used to the sound, so it doesn't feel as intrusive. That's that a good sign. Sense. That's a great sign. Something I've never experienced before. Okay. Well, I like you. I'm not too worried about it, but I just wanted to know if there was anything to be done. Yeah, I think if you wear like a um, like a metal hat, that'll help a lot. What does that do? What the fuck is up with that? I don't know. It, <laughs> I think it like blocks out the signal or something, like a lead hat. Let's give it a try. Are you fucking with me? No, of course not. Inside chat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's okay. It's just uh, thirteen. I'm fucking with you. Ah. <laughs> no, no helmets for all. <laughs> you know what? It might work. Little child. Maybe, fresh, maybe fresh cut grass could help. That's the group maybe. name. The Nidos. The Nidos. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you for role playing with me. Yeah. So, I'm glancing around, no sign of the Shadow Baker. <laughs> it's <so> formal. <laughs> Would you care to role play? Uh, yes, I do. Sounds too light. She also um, got me really good. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I did. I, was, I knew you were giving her a gift, and I didn't want to interrupt it, it, but then I wanted to talk to you. I was like, it's Fern's pouch. <laughs> so, so stupid. Cute. <laughs> hey, it yeah, works. Um, <laughs> unless you have any other business, the root trader is uh, findable with that issue, but is there anything else you wish to do while you're here? Nothing pressing. Mm, no, it's okay. right there. Uh, heading to the Root Trader, it is currently closed. It is not yet open this time of morning. But you do, glancing through the somewhat cloudy glass windows, you do see some movement inside. Oh. There's a quiet pause. 
one of the curtains pulls aside, and on the other side you can see Heron, the feathered individual that led you into the interior, kind of glancing past this wide bird eye, like. We've come to loosen the snare. <laughs> oh, it's so early. Goes and <laughs> opens the door. Come on, come on, come on, come on, fine, fine, fine. Let's you inside. You don't even see Ovalia uh, there yet. Heron's just kind of taking care of the interior. Or it's across, leads you into the same upward spiral and opens into the same hatch chamber. This area is nowhere near as crowded as it was last time. You can see maybe six individuals in this room, and now that you have a kind of a, a better look within and less tension, and uh, Heron kind of holds the lantern forth, you can see there are some cots in the corner. This is definitely just kind of like a like a resting hangout space, almost like a safe house. Uh, and you can see there's like stacks of, of bunk beds and a few cots. You can see there's some storage crates. You can see there's a number of chairs. You can see there's, there's bundles of just general goods and storage. Um, at just a quick glance with the light around, and you can see his hair and says, come, come to loosen this snare. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and tells you all to get up there and then closes the little latch behind. It's not even staying behind this time and just kind of letting you guys in there. As it closes, one of the figures, the uh, familiar hooded figure, is kind of sitting in the back, arms crossed, kind of glances over and looks at all of you. Goes over and shakes awake somebody who's snoring loudly on one of the nearby, kind of nicer, larger situations of bedding. And quickly a, <gasps> pulls up and like with a knife towards the hooded figure, kind of leans back, kind of gives a, a nudge and a nod over in your direction. And you can see it's it's Yash. Yash is just uh, kind of rubbing his eyes a bit. I'm terribly sorry. Yeah. Don't do that again. It could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> Puts the blade away. Uh, give me just a second. It's a bit early. It gets up. Stretches. Dreams, that'll, that's what'll do that to you. Oh, you're right there. Uh, starts stretching, touching his toes a bit, like going I'll through. join in. That's actually a good <laughs> Just idea. Just some calisthenics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, done. Not a bad idea to do. All right, very easy. If you want to stretch with me, you're welcome to. I'm not going to stop you. Yeah. <laughs> Takes a water just skin. Starts yeah. going whoosh, 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 whoosh. Just around and around and around. And around. <laughs> Pour some. Water out of like a, a water skin into a bowl and kind of splashes his face a bit. Goes and pulls out the small glass vial and Would goes, you like some coffee? putting some moisturizer on his face. Oh, oh, That's wow. like a whole like morning yes. routine that he's going oh, through. Get in. Yeah. Walking into your your actual bedroom, I'm I'm very sorry. Well, this, this is not my actual bedroom, but I I keep my my supplies with me no matter where I am traveling because you never know where you might be and nothing is worse than being. Uh, in unfamiliar and uh, less comfortable situations without your moisture. How is Yasha's skin generally? Oh, it's glowing. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I love that routine. I mean, even in this low light, it's it's it's, it's just a, a, a beautiful warm shape. Oh. And it's smooth, you can, pores are kept well, like. Can't even see them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would you like some coffee or something? If you are making coffee, by the, of course, please. Well, is there someone I can ask? <laughs> <laughs> Could you make us some coffee? And the hooded figure kind of like and looks back over And probably enough for all of us would be great. Thank you. Knocks over and starts setting up. <laughs> you can see he has like a, a, a little uh, iron stove in the corner with a uh, a tube that looks like it ex exits, <laughs> or it's built into and exits out of the chamber from above. It kind of sets a small fire, begins boiling some water. Uh, so Yash turns, oh, ah, grabs a, a chair, scoots it around and sits on it with it kind of facing the opposite direction, kind of leaning over it. All right, so you're back so soon. I, what, I, you're not dead, uh, so I, I assume that Dugger has not quite done to you what he did to your friend, which He's is good. Dead. Dead. We've done the Duggar. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, very well done. That is, um, I'm, I'm not going to say that I didn't expect a different outcome, but uh, congratulations. We're as shocked as anybody, believe me. The broomstone, on the other hand, was not found. It, I have no idea what Duggar was doing with broomstone, personally. 
Seems like a dangerous thing to have running around the city, that's all. It's dangerous, but it's also worth a lot of money in black market for people who want to, you know, depending on what its uses are. It is, that is a very controlled element. I assume that it's probably, you know, looked sought for, sought after uh, is the, the common phrase for. Um, by probably arcanists and engineers, you know, it's it. It has a lot of, of uses. I just I, I don't often hear people clamoring for it because to to try and uh, usher it away from the Elsfaran Union and any of the other individuals that control sources of it, is a very very dangerous. Very fucking crazy. You said he was going back and forth between this and the Smolder Spire. The handful of times that he was traveling beyond this house, yes. I wonder if that's a lead for where to. Did you know where? Uh, I have to ask around. I wasn't paying particular attention to him. We just kind of kept an eye on him. Um, but I can certainly inquire. Like the weird thing I keep thinking about is, I th I thought at first that just wanted the the broomstone for some fucking crazy reason was doing some sort of crazy fucking shit because he was all fucked up. <laughs> but. Since it wasn't there, <laughs> so happy. what was he doing with all that fucking money? Hi, mom. Hi, dad. <laughs> Glad you're fucking watching. Uh, he had a bunch of money. I mean, if he was getting rid of it. He must have been getting something out of it. If he was getting something out of it. Why? Because clearly he wasn't spending that money. That place was a shithole. Well, that place also seemed to be a cover. So, for is there a place that? Actually is in a shithole, or is there? It seems like he's living underground. He's comfortable in shitholes. I don't think. Uh, so do you what's think he he's doing working for someone else? Do you think? No. See, we were looking for that. We were thinking if he leaves us and then goes ahead and joins the syndicate, then then we have to fucking take him out. But no, things didn't seem that way. But do you think is he doing this for the syndicate? No idea. He barely seemed human anymore. Yeah. He, oh, oh my gosh. When he came out, when we saw him, he was a lump of jelly. He was like a dollop no of shit. honey falling out of a hole. Yeah. And he was, he was, yeah, he was in a hole and he was kind of like working his way through it. Yeah. And then he came out and all of a sudden he was, uh, he was him again. I know, I know what that sounds like. Like a honey dispenser. But I, I, it's the truth. Oh God, if that is I what. I think what we're saying is whatever we witnessed went beyond the normal realm of petty crime and smuggling, mm -hmm. it was something deeper, something worse. That is certainly, uh, <laughs> that's the stuff of nightmares, what you're saying there. I'm going to scrub my brain from that mental image, and I'm sorry you had to see that. But. Does it connect to the like... dancing furniture? Oh. I'm sorry, I just have to keep mentioning that, because it's still fucking. We're dancing furniture now. What, we got what? attacked by, by a dining set. There was a carpet and Cartable a table. The furniture exploded in uh... Public Square. All right, great, good for you. Just throwing that out there, I don't know. It's been a weird week. Well, we've done a bit of a favor for you, whether you ask for it or not. I think one thing we're hoping for here is that we're in a little bit better standing. Yeah, no, we'll stop following you, we're good. Thanks. Well, you were following us? Of course. Did you Did you all notice? I figured, but no, they didn't, I didn't notice. notice. Wow. It's cool. No. And you have, you have been very honest. You have corroborated up front exactly where we saw you go. Are we easy to follow? Extremely. Oh, yeah. You do not cut a low profile at all. Um, oh my goodness. <clears throat> <laughs> we'll work on that. We should. You barely even try. Yeah, that's true. Uh -huh. And we lost track at a certain point. So when you, when you put your mind to it, you're, you, you can disappear, but uh, you do not put your mind to it often. That is true, yes. Our collateral? Nothing will come of your collateral unless you do something to fuck us over. All right, that's what I figured I I have no interest in, in hunting down fathers, <laughs> unless you fuck us over. But until then, like, do not worry about it. If, we, if we're friendly, we're friendly. It is perfectly okay. Well, yeah, rather than be at odds. Precisely. I think we'd rather work in concert. Well, to be honest, uh, there's a lot of factions at work in this city that have a lot more power and influence and are far more dangerous than whatever we do. So, people not affiliated with them that we can stay friendly with, that works in our favor as much as it does yours. 
you have a relationship with Lord Esteros? No, we have not uh, had the pleasure of speaking with the uh, yeah. the inheritor of the Prudage estate. But you know who he is. It's hard not to know. I mean, there's plenty of other rumors about that strange old coot. He's great. Actually, that's who I was talking about the last time, but I was very not yeah, he specific. Yeah, about you. I was hard pressed to not know about that, so we kind of, uh, we'll leave a bit of a trail. What type of rumors? There are some people that say perhaps, um, <laughs> Some folks, at least, have uh, reason to believe that maybe he actually killed his previous employer, Pradaj, yeah, that's to what take our, the That's estate. what our landlady was thinking, too. I, I feel like she, she mm. had the inclination. That's right, that's right, that's right. She did mention that. Um, others believe that the reason nobody ever sees him is because he hides a dark secret. He never leaves, he never goes into public eye. He stays in his house and just sends out other sentinels and mercenaries and hired hands to do his bidding, to do his work. That, that, that's us, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, so you, you are one of these contracted individuals. I work for a lot of people. We don't have a contract presently, but no, we we've don't. met the gentleman. We're trying to come up with a group name. Yes. Do you have any suggestions? I feel like it's weird. None that you would enjoy. Okay, well, a little, a little exercise. <clears throat> what is the first word that pops into your head when you look at us? Mm, mm. Oh, that's a good nope. That's a nope. Good. Trouble. <gasps> but trouble. Trouble. Good. Maybe, maybe we can work with the trouble. Just the trouble. The, the, the trouble cliffs. The, 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 the trouble cliffs. The trouble find the trouble. you. That's I like good. I like that. that. that, that I like that a lot. <laughs> That sounds like I, every Please do not name. <laughs> I would be embarrassed by association. Um, <laughs> some other people think maybe he's like, uh, like a vampire or some sort of oh. creature that's, that absconds from the lights because he stays away from it. I wonder if he is a vampire. You he know, we be. never. Oh, would you I personally? Sense that? Oh yeah. That's what's your take? Weird. What do you think? Oh. What the fuck is up with that? I think he's just a, just a creepy, lonely old man with a lot of money. But. Who knows? Except for unless you do because you work for him, which by the way, what can you spill? <laughs> Seems to have a better opinion of you than you do of him. You hmm? seemed nice. I don't have a negative opinion. I'm just curious. <gasps> Paranoid. I know something about him that you probably don't know. Do tell, strange horned lady. <laughs> can you give me something for it? Make a persuasion check. Guy in it? No. <laughs> no. Oh. I rolled a two. Uh, <laughs> you guys can't roll. Oh. Okay. Spend it all on rollies. Well, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say one. Like high rolls on rollies. On <laughs> 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 rollies. Oh, that wasn't it. <laughs> uh, I can't do impressions. Uh, hey, this is my Christopher Walken. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Yeah, that tastes nice. Actually wow. sound like That's your backup character right there. <laughs> um, he is an amazing baker, is what I was going to say. Really? Uh, yes. Yeah, I actually can't confirm yeah. that. Well, they have to sit in some sort of competition with our very own Shadow Victory Free there one day. Ooh. Oh, I never ate that damn thing he gave me. The purple? I paid for it. The purple pastry? Do you think it's stale by now? It's yes. probably fine. Right. Reach in my bag. It's a little stale. Uh, fuck. That was quick. Yeah. Well, it's not like wrapped in plastic or anything. Let me see it. If we see the you want to try it? If we see the Shadow Baker, then we'll we'll get some more. It still tastes decent, it's just a little. Harder. That's I fine. My, I'll take it. That's fine. You can have it, Orm. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Half the size of my head. But good to know that. Is a an unexpected purveyor of baked goods. That uh, this is interesting information. Thank you. Oh, did you give something valuable away? I just I told him that he is an excellent baker, so mm. I gave him some pretty mm. great information. Anyway, if you'd like us to set up a meeting or something, just let us know. 
Is he interested in meeting? Mm-hmm. What would a strange recluse like him have any business with us for? He certainly wouldn't tell us. I think he, well, I get the impression that he wants to do good in, in this city and he <laughs> thinks that you also do. I think anyone who in, lives a life of inherited money wants to do good, well. I don't know, Dorian? What? Short guy, low blows. <laughs> you see the, the hooded figure in the back kind of cross his arms, leans against the wall, staring right in your direction, Dorian. Not everyone with money is bad, just some. <clears throat> Many. Many. Possibly this one. Hmm. I do believe he does want to do good, but that's just my belief. I could be wrong. I look at the guy in the back who's eyeing up Dorian. Mm. Is he being? Is he like targeting him? Is he taking note? Make a persuasion. Or I'm sorry, make a, a perception check. Didn't even clock that. What is that? Eleven. Fifteen. Don't fuck me, Gil. Fifteen total. Fifteen. Ooh. The, the, the whispers. Ooh. There's lots of whispers. whispers. Our friends at Ghostfire Gaming <laughs> have a new episodic subscription service called Fables. Oh, wow, I feel like I just wow. tuned into NPR. Wow. <laughs> and don't forget the that NordVPN no. is the <laughs> easiest way to hide your IP and physical location. <laughs> I can't and let the shirt <laughs> also sticky notes. I just um, look at him. I don't know if he. I kind of like cross in front of his vision and just my eyes go black. Mm. I just kind of crack my head a little bit and I do unsettling presence to him. <gasps> Jeez. Okay. Uh, I'm so in for it. The, <laughs> the, the figure, you can see like in, in their, their full body kind of you know leather and stuff with leather armor, the kind of light gray cloak and hood. <clears throat> just go. And just like, Rushes off to the other corner of the room and just sits down and kind of watches quietly from a distance. Almost seems to the 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 somewhat broad, intimidating uh, form that they cut within the chamber is diminished into almost a child in timeout. Well, I. I am not against having a conversation with your. Uh, Wealthy patron. We just have to have some assurances. Understand that the person you speak of naturally is a little more aligned with those that we consistently work against. Absolutely. And you see now, like the, the jovial nature of, of Yash begins to kind of become a little more of a cutting hmm. intensity. Money and influence in this city is a commodity that is passed around by a very small number of faceless members of the Quorum. And we continuously, continuously want to find out who they are and expose them. And if it means taking every copper silver or gold to their name until they are forced to expose themselves to the public. We'll do it. So if your friend, this Lord Eshtaros, is keeping anything or anyone hidden that is in our sights, we will not hesitate to remove him from the equation. But if you trust him, and he seems genuinely interested, and is willing to meet on our terms. I'll think about it. We do, in fact. I trust your terms more than I trust him, but I figure you know how to take care of yourself. You've got a direct line to him through us. What assurances do you need? And if we smell anything, we'll tell you. Let me talk with my compatriots. I am but one of many, and uh, I feel it would be untoward to my trusted associates to make a decision on this without their opinions 
placed against it. So, you're always staying inspired by fire, yes? At the moment? Yeah. Amongst other places. Amongst other places. It's a good place to start. Well, we'll find you when we have come to an accord and are ready, if at all, to have such a conversation with your lord. How does one become a part of this club? The club? <laughs> Organization. No, no, I, li I like it. I like it, we'll call it the club. If you wish to join this club, mm -hmm. you have to do some illegal things. You have to go through some trials of trust building. Okay. You have to put your neck on the line for our interests and values and show that you are willing to give everything for what we are willing to give everything for. And you will either wind up arrested and at the mercy of the quorum with no information to incriminate any of us or show that you have some skill show that you have the means of completing the things you promise, and be willing to um, give what is at your disposal to share amongst the rest of us, to share amongst the rest of them. And he gestures to the greater city around. Oh, well, that's where I draw the line. I well then, like perhaps sure. this is not meant to be <laughs> uh, a business element here, but we, we believe in uh, those who are capable work for the greater sum to share amongst those that are not. Okay. And those that have far too much and have not earned it with capability, we'll share it for them. That sounds like a good way to run a club. <laughs> <laughs> Come talk to me when you're ready to join the club. Okay. You'll never be ready to join the club, but if you do, <laughs> let me know. Okay. Uh, hi. I'm going to have some coffee. Hi. Right. Points over to the <laughs> hooded figure in the corner. It's like. <sighs> <laughs> it goes and begins to pour some coffee. Anyone else? You said you wanted some? Um, I think we'll probably go. Wait, well, yeah. Yeah. There's nothing pressing here, right? Yeah. All right. I mean, I'll just take a little to go in my cup. Sure. If you want, you can pour it inside my body. <laughs> my body. And I'll just mm, have it like a thermos for later. I think I might be able to. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds right. It's like a liquid cooling yeah. system type of a situation. A liquid heating system. <laughs> All for Sam. For <laughs> Dr. Grass Pink Ferns Thermos for the rest of this campaign. Well, we can try it. There's a single rod of plutonium inside. Yeah. Yeah. Let's give it a try. We can okay. use some to smuggle shit. Just pour, pour some Did coffee. Did it make you feel uncomfortable with right, any right. of that stuff inside nope, of you before? Nothing. Okay. He takes this like filtered bit of cloth and puts the grinds on it and kind of pours the water over it. And I, you are nothing if not a very interesting way to start my day. <laughs> Pours it through, and sure enough, you uh, you hear it. The fill best up part of waking <laughs> up, fresh grass in your cup. And that'll say that last bit for me. You are a fascinating piece of machinery, my friend. I agree. Well, How do you feel? A little warmer. <laughs> oh. Interesting. Is he okay? I don't know, are you okay? I think so. <laughs> Perfect, all right. Get the fuck out. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, boy, he said that he's not the leader, but all those other guys just hang back the whole time. I know. He really feels like a spokesman. I know, he feels like a leader. He feels yeah. like the leader. He's you should leader. just own it. Well, that wasn't a, 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 a strikeout, but we don't have any actionable intel. We made the connections, what, so. I wonder what note <laughs> Ashley's writing down right now. FCG is also a thermos. Okay. <laughs> Good to note. <laughs> well, trouble. I'm not against it. What if we can be the Trubbells? 
Oh no, Trebel. Oh, <laughs> that sounds, I'm trying to find the word, that sounds like an acapella group. It does. <laughs> Just like the treble claps, god yeah. damn it. Trebel. I do like the, the, the bell being I do somewhere. Too. I just, I think Bertrand got us all together, we should honor him. I do too. Too. So then we back out on the street. Not, not good. We'll say you guys, you you make uh, your path through <laughs> the root trader back into the elders' <laughs> post, which is still in the process of assembling itself for the day's business. Uh, but the city is yours. Uh, so, do we see a baker before? Do you like my perception check again? Yep. Yep. Ooh, uh, fourteen. Fourteen. You glance around a bit, and he is not present at this hour. Mm, okay. Well, do we go back to Escheros now, or do we? Is there el- anywhere else to check? I mean, well, we got nothing. We got no leads. The trail's gone cold. Well, that's true. Oran, you said the person you were looking for. They were wreaking havoc. They stole something. What? Are, are you also trying to track something? No. Did I say that? I don't know. I'm just. I'm trying to fill in the I don't gaps. Think so no, I'm looking for. Um, so there was just someone else who's worked for uh, Lord Estros. Oh no, excuse me, I misspoke. Um, <clears throat> he knows a lot of. He hires a lot in town, and knows a lot of. I don't know what's the right word. Mercenaries. That's a fine word. Hmm. So he for, may know this person. Claims too. Oh. Hmm. What was their name? Uh, Brescio. 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 Brescio or Brescia? Brashad. Brescio. Brashad. Oshad. 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 The Anger. Oshad. 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 Specific name. Sure is. Yeah. Is that anything we would have heard around town? Girl, a history check if you want to. I'm into it. I will, just in case. <laughs> Fact. Why does it keep 18. Ooh. 18. Yeah. You, you, you haven't been here long enough, probably, to pick up on those who've like been in the vicinity. 18. Uh, Oshad Brescia doesn't catch your ear at all, but the anger you know of. Uh, there are certain certain mercenaries, uh, not unlike where Lord Estro seems to have claimed his past emanated from, uh, that make a name for themselves. The anger you know of, because whenever certain bar brawls that get very violent tend to happen, people, there's a phrase that's occasionally muttered by those that were around running these establishments, 20, 30 years ago that says, don't be careful, you'll rouse the anger. Um, this is a mercenary that was known to shut down any sort of bullshit that happened in public establishments, and anybody that began to break public property, would they would be taken outside and beat. Oh yeah, I would definitely life. know this fucking story. Yeah, uh, they were they were a known mercen. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> they were, <clears throat> I can see it. In a, a, uh, yeah. a very talented sellsword um, who was quite traveled around Exandria, but. Uh, Originated out of elements of, of uh, Ankrel and the surrounding sands before eventually moving from mercenary to actually becoming a, uh, a hired personal bodyguard to one of the Mahan houses here. And thus, the legend of the anger faded from view because they were no longer the rough and tumble, coin seeking sellsword and were now, now got a real job. And that was like ten years ago. I relay this much as uh, Matt did, except with uh, more, more fox. More, more fox. More fox. <laughs> Shit's fox. Motherfucker. Many fox given. And, and Many fox given. Sorry. Uh, and Orum, Orum's connection to this. That information would be new. What Ashton knew, but yeah. Orum's connection to this, Fern and I are already privy to. Right. Yes, correct. Yeah. Just, just double checking. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if that's helpful, but that's what I got. Well, I know all of that already. Know where to find him? I mean, how many houses are there of, of the Mahan houses? Yeah. Well, th- th- there are there are a number that work with on the actual council, but there are dozens of Mahan houses. There's like oh. like the Lord families that 
run the city and the larger uh, Odiran wilds surrounding it. Um, Somebody's got to know. Yeah. Some are scattered in other cities throughout, but the the central ones here, there's a few, a couple dozen. No one entirely disappears. Somebody's got to know. There's somebody who owns a bar somewhere. Or somebody who was the last hire. But nothing concrete to start on. It's been a decade. Estros thinks maybe he can make an introduction. Back maybe. to Estros then? Yeah, I mean, it's the next day, but I don't really know what else to do. You can mm-hmm. tell him we made the connection. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. I mean, he'd want to know. Especially if the Corsairs are going to start digging into him because we brought his name up. Mm. Smart. Yeah. As you begin to piece together your plot to figure out your path in the city, who best to ask and who best to inquire their knowledge, experience, and perhaps direction to give you onto any of these various threads, we're going to take a break. Because we're at that time. What a fun half. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Inside an enigma. (laughs) Indeed. Back here in a few minutes. We'll see you guys here shortly. We don't have the strength alone. It's the truth. If we try to storm the gates again, we will be killed. By what, though? How long has she been in the ditches? Just a week. She'll learn. I could help. You've never seen the gates of the sun. I have. I know what lurks there. But to explore the Astoian necropolis beyond, it's a scholar's dream. This is no dream. It's not even a nightmare. Nightmares end. Our imprisonment in the ditches is eternal. But if we can pass through the gates... Horrors unimaginable await beyond the gates. But you have magic, weapons. Together we could survive the necropolis, make it through to the surface, be free there. Free? The sun itself has forsaken Astoria. There is no freedom in the dark. And what would you be willing to sacrifice to get to the surface? Would you give your blood for it? Your friends? Your soul? When you stand in the court of the blood drinkers, haunted by what you've seen, well, you would be a brave hero indeed if you still thought of saving anyone but yourself. Well, I have to try. Someone has to. All of us here. You think we have not tried? Those whose bones hold up these very walls, you think they did not try? If you've given up, I will wait here for others. There must be more like me. I just hope they get here soon. Hey Critters, Laura Bailey here to guide you through what's new in the Critical Role shop. Glory. Ooh, look at this. Look at the details. Ooh. Oh, so comfy cozy. You need this? You probably need this. You're only like five clicks away from owning this. Maybe more if you have a lot of windows open on your browser. I don't know your life. Can you put donuts in this? Only one way to find out. Style should never be a dumb stat, darling. And hey, if you want, you could head over to the Critical Role shop right now.
doing this right or oh sorry um am i doing this right you can also gift subscriptions to fellow critters so what are you waiting for start spreading that sweet serenity with a twitch subscription to critical role it's like a warm blanket oh, oh hold on it's my proctologist just give me a second okay hello 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 Oh, hey, hey, Doc, yeah, what, what's up? What do you mean, more teeth? I thought you got rid of them all. Well, no, don't tell me to relax. I'm the one with teeth up my... Subscribe.
<laughs> and welcome back. No. So, as you all begin to travel amongst the surface streets of Drusar, what is it that you want to do? Start. Well. No. no, go ahead. No, 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 you go ahead. You go ahead. You had a well, which is much more. Than oh, I was I just going to say, I feel like if we're talking mercenaries and we're trying to get more information about the anger, then. Shake my trees, sure. Yeah. Let's uh, let's head to the crook house. See who's see who's around. That's really good of you. Well, what else are we gonna do? Okay. Thanks. Okay. All right. Following Ashton's lead, you head back to one of the what is a new path for a lot of you, but is a one of the number of familiar paths into the Fonsi Hollow, uh, to the odd interior kind of social oubliette of the lightless hollow itself, climbing down the levels and layers and ladders until eventually you find the familiar exterior facade of the Crook House. Uh, there at the uh, kind of brightly colored exterior and the door that awaits you, you enter into the chamber, the smell of burnt metal, like something that had been welded recently, uh, through uh, arcane arc uh, tool technology, or at least very, very hev heavily heated and electrically charged, that kind of scent hits the air. And uh, but it feels like it's dissipated a bit. And at the first glance, you don't see Milo anywhere. Instead, yep, here it comes. <laughs> <I knew> it. <laughs> you see Aniata, who's currently in the process Better. of looking through a book and has a. A mostly eaten sandwich in her left hand, and she goes like, "You can read. You can talk." Ah, <laughs> oh, good morning. Morning, Annie. This is everybody. Everybody, Annie. I think you've already briefly met. Hey, don't take anything. Why were you looking at me when you said that? So the kind of person that would take something. How do you know that? Because it takes one to know one. <laughs> You're adorable. I'm not going to say what I was going to say back. Uh, welcome to the house, I guess. Uh, We've been running into some trouble. Um, if you haven't heard any word about, I don't know, some broomstone running around. Or, and this is, I know, coming kind of even more out of the middle of nowhere. I, I genuinely have no idea what Broomstone even is, so probably not. <laughs> Expensive. Uh, mm -mm. What was the last thing you heard about the anger? Wow. <laughs> I do it. I don't fuck around. Like, like the anger? Like the anger of the anger. Do you know where they ended up? Uh, I mean,. I think couldn't play you're that old, but. Well, no, like, you know, they get reputations around here, but um, they're, they're before my time. That's like old guard. Uh, Do you know any old people? Half <laughs> it. I mean, Shadana's old. Uh, I know. She's old and. But no, like, he was. Hmm. Old. I think he was, he was hired by the, the Loomis twins. We gotta leave, guys. We gotta leave. Loomis twins? The Loomis or Loomis? Loomis. Like L U M A S. What spire was that again? Oh. Oh, that would be the Lucent Spire. That's oh, where man. all them rich fucks live, but. I mean, that's. It's getting up into the upper echelon. I oh, may have to see what we can do about that. Fuck. Well, you're not planning to go talk to them, are you? <laughs> not personally, but. I... Good <laughs> fucking luck. We'll see. I, they can they can be very persuasive. Okay, yeah. No, go for it. Please be my guest. Go ahead and talk to Mahan Loomis. Wish you all the best luck. Is it hard to talk to the uh, the well-to-do families here? Yes. I mean, I, I don't know how you where you come from. If you want to talk to, you know, very very rich people out of nowhere about things. Well, we have a rich with us. We do. Uh, you all speak a similar uh, language, right? Sort of. They tend to isolate themselves from everyone. I think the only people that rich people fear more than poor people is other rich people. This is very, very useful. 
But maybe you have some riches in common that you could bond with, uh, over or something. I'd gladly try. And if anything, honestly, you can just girl. lead with saying that you're a lord and they'll probably respect you. You do look good. Uh, <laughs> you, look, you look, I don't even know how you maintain that level of cleanliness in here, because this is, by its very design, extremely filthy. <laughs> Every night I have it. Anyway, uh, and Annie, <laughs> Annie, who's finished her sandwich, has like a, was like licking the fingers and just goes like, one hundred strokes, and rubs it on the outside oh. of the cloak. <laughs> Charming. I would be glad. I will gladly help in any way that I can. Did you get that gig, by the way? Uh, I, I haven't gone into full audition yet, it's still about a week off. Uh, you know uh, what, Annie? It just occurred to me, as you rub your uh, food on, on Dorian over here, you know, you were a little bit um, nervous or embarrassed to play for us before. I wasn't but, nervous, I was embarrassed. But if you wanted some guidance from an expert in the musical craft, well, we have one with us right now who could Possibly give you some criticism or advice or help on your budding audition. Oh, oh, you're a musician, are you? I am by by trade. Not just any. Is musician. that how you afford your fancy clothes? I have made plenty of money. Uh, money. Uh, what is the word? <laughs> I'm a bard for certain. Obviously, obviously, we've all heard of you. Please tell me, what's your name? My name is Dorian Storm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Surely you've heard. I've played the Gilded Goat for certain. That was one a few months ago. Make a deception check. Fuck! <laughs> Not real. Come on. Ooh. Ah. 17. You see Annie's like looking at you real hard, waiting for you to, to, to fumble through this and kind of goes like, all right, well, what do you, what, what, what do you play? Oh. Uh, I play uh, the flute, the lute, uh, anything that rhymes with flute or lute, I'm kidding. Uh, I sing a little bit from time to time. I can play a boot. If you gave me one, I'd tap away at it. Only I'd <laughs> Um, uh, what are you, what are you auditioning for? Did you say audition, Ash? Uh, that was the word. Yeah, sure. yeah, that was, that was kind of the word. It, not just any audition. This is the finest uh, theater in all of the 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 city. It's called the uh, the Dreamscape Theater. It's kind of a shithole, but it is the finest shithole in the city. What is your act? I'm interested. Is anyone else interested? Is it oh, just of course, but we don't want to put. We don't. It. You know, if maybe you could just have a private. Oh, oh you, uh, you don't want to put them on the spot, but you want to put me on the well, spot. Well, you're a fa fantastic performer of ask. international renown. Now, are you are you one of them like rich boy prepared music types? A lot of rehearsal. Or are you more of like an improviser? Oh, I can do it all. Jam session. Jam session. Is a jam session about to happen? I can jam. Under. I've seen. Oh my it. god. I've seen it. I got jam. <laughs> Goes and starts making a little sandwich. It's on my shirt. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, see if you can follow. Pulls oh, out oh, this oh, this oh, oh, kind of oh, nice fiddle that she had kind of mm, hidden underneath. Uh, it kind of. Are you gonna guidance him? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna cast enhance ability. Yay! All right, all right. This isn't about me. You, you don't want two strings. Oh, this is entirely about you, honey. I'm sorry. You walk in here looking like that, saying that you're a well-traveled musician. I can't lose an opportunity to take you down several pegs. Oh, you shit. <laughs> and I'm going to pick my loot back out. And it's, are we, is this, is this is the this Devil it? Went Down to Georgia scenario yes, right now? Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm going to go over to, to Dorian and just sort of Let's say, well, no matter what happens, just keep it positive and, and remember, you. Just, just don't rush the beat, all right? Okay. <laughs> and I'll and I'll cast enhance ability, uh, uh, eagle splendor. Uh, so you have advantage on all performance checks. Oh. All right. How does that look as you cast it upon him? Oh boy, <laughs> I've never <laughs> cast this spell before. I, don't I know, know that's what why I'm to do. First time a spell is um, something that's standard. Sure. Uh, I'm going to my my. Uh, I'll just have you look straight into my eyes, and, mm -hmm. and my eyes will just sort of glow blue mm -hmm. and uh, and shine a light into yours, uh, sort of <laughs> lighting yours up blue for a second. That feels nice. <laughs> and I will start to lay down the rhythm section of a funky little rural 
Beats. <laughs> all right, all right. Right as he starts to play, I'm gonna press a digitation and like little lights are gonna sparkle up around his head and it's gonna look like in lights it says Dorian Storm. <laughs> if you could, if you could audibly hear an eye roll out of Annie <laughs> as the head goes to. Is the company you keep sure? And, you, and but as as she's saying that to you, you can see her the back of her heel is starting to pick up on the beat, just kind of instinctually. She starts rolling into a bit. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, come here. There's something in your hair. Oh, thank you. And as he bends down, a uh, blue flower blooms out of Orem's hand oh. and is now tucked into uh, Dorian's hair. Yes. Everything. Sorry, Everybody. All of it. <laughs> I had to kick the battle music in because here we are. Crushed. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, as soon as you start laying down the beat, Annie starts hitting the fiddle and it's kind of low string and pick up, pick up, kind of matching your beat, but also like kind of taking what you're laying down and beginning to guide it and almost try to overpower it a bit. Make a performance check. Come on, come on. With advantage, with advantage, with advantage. With advantage. Uh, that'd be a natural 20. Oh, shit! Plus? See what? if you can get plus, two. See if you can get two of them. Just in case. Plus, plus what? Two uh, plus, plus your performance. performance. Oh, plus my performance, 27. Yeah, oh. see, that all comes together. Roll again, roll again. I want to see you get two natural 20s. Why is that? That would never oh. happen. Oh, oh my god! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. I feel blessed. Which? Wow. <laughs> oh, it was As like Annie he had leans in <laughs> with a fairly fierce performance. How do you respond? Oh, I could, I could stop the rhythm section and just bust out a killer shredding solo, but I don't. <laughs> I don't. Not time. I ease back and I set up a solo for her. For her. Now, Annie was feeling confident as soon as you set up the solo in that moment, you see the look in her eyes of panic as she wasn't expecting to be gone. She was pushing into you to try and get you off of your game and you immediately reversed it on her. And in that brief moment, you can see there's a (laughs) gap in her part and for, for a few beats, the bow of her fiddle doesn't move and then she kind of shakes and tries to catch up, and you threw her off tremendously on that bit. Uh, let's go ahead and do another performance roll. <gasps> oh my this god. Is, this is a progressive challenge. Oh, okay. Oh, Christ. You're like, no. You still have advantage. Oh, ooh. Advantage, advantage. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, 22. 22, okay. At this point, uh, as Annie picks up and is now like kind of finding herself back in the beat, caught up, now she pushes forward into the solo, and with that, even though you're trying to meet her there, she even just physical body language, she kind of almost begins to stand a bit from that sitting position where she was eating. She's now up and is beginning to kind of domineer you just from a stature. Even though she's effectively shorter than you from standing height, right now, there is a, a force of intention there, and while you both are fairly evenly matched, she's beginning to crest beyond, she rolled pretty well, and is like just starting to push over that, and her solo's starting to pick, and the rest of you are like, Damn, this girl's got some skills. Yep. Yep. This girl's got some skills. Damn. 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 God damn it. Let's go. This is the final roll. Okay, okay final roll. Ooh, Let's see what happens. happens. That would be a 25. Wait, did you advance? No. Nope. No. Oh my God. It might be better. No, 25. Okay. It both, as soon as her solo finishes, she immediately responds and throws a solo to you. Mm hmm. Hoping to catch you off guard. Are you off guard? No. No, feels right. There's a great solo on her <laughs> part. So I just answer right back, jump out of the rhythm section, and blast out a little uh, high pitched uh, solo on a loop. Can you do that? I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> even if you couldn't, you're pulling it off. Uh, sweet, he's, let's go. He's doing it, Peter. Yeah. He's doing it. <laughs> he's doing it. He's doing it. Uh, and as, as you begin to carry it forward, you can see Annie starting to look. Uh, 
anxious and nervous, looks back at you, continues to fiddle faster and faster, and is meeting that point before. <laughs> bing! Oh. Oh. Natural one on her part. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> and she goes, fuck! Shit! And just like stands up and storms off. Oh, God, no. yeah, yeah. <sighs> all right, you're good. He's good. He's all good. Right. Andy, Not better than me. Okay? <laughs> oh, are you okay? Could you tell us? Are you okay? Oh are you okay? no! Are you okay, Annie? Annie? No. And now, Annie out storms out. <laughs> Slams the door behind. It opens up, and he goes like, "Someone dropped something for you in your room." Oh! And slams it again. Hopefully, it's not a death threat. I'm gonna go into my room. That was all you guys! It was the stage yeah. work. It, it filled me with the confidence. Yeah. What, what, what was that thing you did that with I, the, I just wanted you to, you know, grab the grab the bull by the dick, you know? <laughs> I, I did. I I grabbed that. I did. Well, I mean, you're, you're, they're gonna really, they're gonna really know it if you grab them by the dick, right? That's yeah. right. Is that the same? That's the same world. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah. Well, thank you, thank you for the assist. Yes. Yeah. Grab that dick hard together. Hard to piss her off, but you did a really good job, regardless. I wasn't trying to. I wanted no, to. No, it's super it. easy to do, but wow. Grab my dick. fun. She, she, she appreciated it, and she's very good. No, she's very good. But damn. Uh, <laughs> As you glance into your into your chamber. Yeah. Uh, it's easy to catch your eye because your room is uh, colorful disarray. Yeah, it's just the nature of the Crook House in general. It is it is intentional, deliberate, tattered edges. Oh, it's kind of the cool. the the colorful aesthetic of the interior, but a, a pristine wax sealed. <gasps> oh, miss you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crabs, 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 crabs. Is this ringing a bell? Uh, the the wax the wax seal is familiar. Fuck. What is it? So He's alone. He's alone. He oh, is. Oh, oh, damn it. Mm. <laughs> Mary, your own dreams. <laughs> oh. Okay. That in a second, um, I'm going to put it in my pocket and uh, come on in. And uh, everything okay? Yeah, maybe we'll see. You Give look me a minute. Shook. Yeah, you look real visibly shook. That was quite a performance. It uh, was. It was. It truly <laughs> was. Is, is Effid here? We should talk to Effid. Oh. Is Effid around? Effid. Effid. Effid around. Um, I'm going to yell loudly. Well, Effie, you know, is not too in too much proximity okay. to the Crook House, but with maybe a, a five-minute jaunt out of the space, you can go ahead and find your way to yep, Effie's yep, place. Yep, yep, yep. I can figure this is out. Is Effie in in relation to whatever it is you got? Uh, maybe. Don't know. Find out. All right. So you make your way over to, towards Effie's boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. As you all follow Ashen outside of the Crook House um, and climbing up about three tiers of the near opposite end of this, you know, darkly lit chamber, you see this mess of rope <laughs> and net that almost resembles a hanging nest, like an upside down hanging nest, uh, within this this kind of partially collapsed cavern that goes back about 20 or so feet. But the, the mouth of it and the roof of it is just this mess of heavily nailed in, hanging pieces of, of frayed and rotted rope with like uh, exterior nets that have kind of partially been broken apart in places or have holes in them that have just been layered over and affixed where it creates this weirdly almost organic looking interior from a distance, but you get up close and it just looks like a bunch of scavenged shit that's been nailed and pushed to the walls to create this almost nightmare jungle gym aesthetic to it. You know this to be if it's place. I'm in! What? You awake? You there? There's a brief pause. And you start seeing from the dark interior of the chamber, there's like one little glowing light in the far end that begins to kind of like shake. And they begin to approach 
in this swinging pattern towards you. Oh my god, he's an anglerfish. <laughs> <laughs> and you begin to see climbing upside down across the ceiling. Oh, what? Uh, a male Isfura, older in his years, um, with like a, a deep brown feather pattern that drifts into kind of a, a fading grayish yellow tint at the tips. You see the uh, the wings that uh, come off of his arms. It looks like the feathers aren't coming out properly, and the arms are jointed strangely. Um, but he pulls himself out from underneath and kind of dangling upside down, looking at all of you, these bright yellow eyes kind of peering from the shadowed expanse. And you see the, the beak, dark, almost black at the tip, kind of open up a bit with this Inhale before it goes. Hello. Did you call for me, Ashton? <sighs> yes, yes. I um, had a couple questions. If you've got a second, I'm working on some stuff to I'm make some money. Very busy today, but I'll make it work for you. All right. Ah. Uh, kind of scatters a bit close, and now is climbing down one side, and you can see it looks like their arms were broken at one point in the past and didn't quite heal correctly, but it doesn't slow them down, and they move across this space with a speed and a grace that is impressive. And they just kind of extend themselves out, and the neck turns, and you can see them kind of, as they're uh, paying, still kind of staying focused towards Ashton, is very much curious and looking over each of you. Sure, Milo mentioned that I'm running with a new crew to try and pay the bills. I've heard a thing or two, and I've seen you come through. A uh, couple things we're trying to track. Do you know where. Uh, some broomstone might have gone in this city? We're trying to track a little bit of that around. Plenty of it comes in and out. But it's all attached to ships. This would be uh, in the nude, so to speak. Can't say I have. No. It's dangerous to move. Yeah. Why do you ask, cracked one? We uh, had to deal with somebody who was moving some around. It's been a weird week, you know. I'm sure you heard about the fucking murderous table carpet shit that went down and yeah. and then had to deal with this guy who was moving that shit around. We're also trying to find the anger from back in the day. And with all of this going the fuck on, one of these shows up in my room. I don't suppose you saw who dropped this off. I did see a courier come through. Wasn't dressed like the rest of us. Looked like they were for money. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Who's it from, if I can ask? That costs more than you have. Well, you've asked a lot of questions. Mm. They cost more than you have, so. Good say, and begins to clamber back into the cave, but the head that continues to watch all of you in okay. turn. <clears throat> kind of stops. Why? You remind me so much of a friend of mine, Dr. Nesbitt. Who's this Nesbitt? It's a friend of mine. Oh. Oh, shit. <clears throat> oh, but we have to go. Yep. Oh, hello, Dr. I'm Nick. Fern. Hello, Fern. I met it. The Fallen. Don't don't let the name fool you. It'll fuck you up. It's a whole thing. Uh, I think he wants to know who this doctor is. If you feel like sharing? Oh, it's not a real doctor, it's just, um, 
a bird that's a friend of mine, and I named him Dr. Nesbitt. <laughs> right. Good day, Ashton. I'll just throw a little bag of 50 gold. Oh, with immediate oh, speed, like, gold. catches it. Kind of, sh- kind of shakes it and just listens, not even like breaking eye contact from you, just kind of. You're very kind, Ashton. Well, I'd you're, like to keep on your good side. You're doing well for yourself, you know? Proud of you. Tucks it into like this little side satchel pouch that's kind of affixed around one of the shoulders. Did, did, did you know anything about where the anger is? I mean, Worked for the twins, before everything else turned to shit, and then begins to climb back into the shadows. What you get is what you get. What is that? <sighs> before everything went to shit? <laughs> what went to shit? Well, we have a lead. Yeah. What, what did you get? What? This, at the moment, is nothing. It may be something. I will let you know. Can we read it? Rollies? <laughs> Rollies? Wow. What'd you roll? 17. Fuck, I did two. <gasps> did we have oh, one? Oh, what? Oh, Double That's rollies. the third time we've rolled the same. Wow. Any of you played this game knows this shit happens all the time. <laughs> a compromise. Rollies is a okay. mysterious number of things. <laughs> Are you redacting things? Yep. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Ashton, you're I redacting all of it. That's what you get for a tie. Compromise, no one's happy. I have an eight when you are ready. An eight? Yep. Like the number eight? Suppose so. Wow, you really did redact it. I can't tell what that says. Nope. What if you hold it up? Yeah. yeah. Get it like a. Don't, don't. <laughs> subvert his. <laughs> it's a perfectly reasonable subversion. Mm-hmm. Would not fight it. I'll see if that pounds pans out into anything, but that will require some private time. So. so that's private. that's not something I can bring people to. You usually don't bring people to private time. God, you made that sound weird. I'm so impressed. This, so, yeah. yeah, this is good. There's, there's certain things we you know. We all have got sure. some private shit. We keep hearing about the oh, twins. Loomis twins. Yeah. So now we have a question for step. a patron. That's true. Yeah. We've got more information to bring to to Lord Estro. We got a question to ask. How can we get to meet the Loomis twins? Maybe he can set something up. Maybe he could. Rich people want to meet rich people. Isn't that right? Or they they are afraid of rich. The opposite. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I think maybe it's a it's a it's a two way thing. Maybe I don't know. But Could be, but we're a big group, big diverse group. I'm not maybe sure. Lord Estros can make it seem like we're a bunch of rich people too. <clears throat> it's you more might, of a perfect because then I can go do my thing while you do that because that ain't gonna work over here. <laughs> he might already have an in. He implied he did, but mm. if he doesn't, we could. Bounce back to Vash, our friend Vash, the definitely not leader of the Hubat yeah, Corsairs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Vash. So head on up. All right, let's go. To Estros. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Not too far, still in the core spire. You head to the familiar estate of Lord Estros there. Uh, Evelyn leads you in, and he is currently, this early in the day, still finishing his kind of delayed breakfast. You get the sense that he eats slowly in the morning. And um, as Evelyn leads you into the... I know. Yeah. Yeah, you guys went to bed comparatively early because you were beat to shit and exhausted. Even though you you drank, by the time you went to bed, it was like 10, 10 10.30, which is... Early for you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, Started day drinking, fell asleep at seven. Yeah, <laughs> those are the best days. Um, 
Um, but as you are led into the dining chamber, the familiar place where you had your celebratory dinner when you finished your first leg of your journey with the Lord, he is there in the process of, he has his uh, spectacles on, he's reading through some paper, and as you begin to enter, he kind of just holds up a finger to all of you, hold on a second. It puts it within a small case and sets it aside. Good morning, friends. Um, might I? Am I to be of service to you? Oh boy, bunch of things, right? It's been a busy morning. Apparently, we're pretty productive. You are not exaggerating. Very self-motivated, which is. Oddly rare for those in your line of work. Hmm. Well, first, uh, we made second contact with the Corsairs. Hmm. And it seems like there is some tentative interest in making your acquaintance. If we put in right. a good word for you. Yeah, yeah. if that's all right. Mm hmm. hmm. How eager were they, if I might ask? They seemed a little unsure. Less eager to meet someone of your stature? Of your station? Standing? Yeah. Um, they don't like people with money, and you have it. That so is, really, that's... It is assuring. If they were too eager, that would spell ill intent, based on the dynamics in play. Um, very well. Do you have a, a place where such an they request? They to be on their terms. And, and they, they would get think it over. Us. Yes. Very well. When you do hear from them, please do come to me. But I appreciate you making the contact, and uh, I do hope it comes to some net positive. They also endeavor. said that they heard that you killed Madame Prudage. Among other rumors that they did not know were true. <clears throat> you see his face harden as he looks towards you. Oh. Struck a nerve, that one. Madame Prudage was an honorable, good-hearted woman. I spent the majority of my adult life protecting her. I would never, ever have harmed her. Is no one else going to? I don't need to roll I don't know. Yeah, no, they have, yeah, yeah, it kind of feels, feels genuine. Yeah. 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 Inside I rang, check. I rang the top bell on day Inside one. check. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Cocked. Ooh. Um, 18. 18. Oh, a little mini whisper. Ooh. Brought to you by <laughs> Koozies. <laughs> Please don't sue us. Koozies. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, How can you hold that? It hurts also, my hand just a little bit. Maybe if you man. had one of our drink you kind of, um, holders, it like, would be nice and soft. Some sort of cozy of yeah, some sort? like a cozy, a cozy soft ring. critical mm. role. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you get one. <laughs> we do have a, a no, no. other than vague rumors, we do have some other things we could use some help with. Um. The Loomis twins, do you know them? Do you have an opinion? Goes and grabs the case that he was currently reading from when you arrived, and well, I had told your compatriot here, Orem, that I would look into making an arrangement, if I could, with Oshart. Um, unfortunately, while I can make the arrangement Oshad is not in a place to meet at the moment. He is still recovering. Recovering from what? Oshad had been working as the bodyguard to the Loomis twins for quite some time. 
but not more than a handful of weeks back, there was an incursion of the Mahan Lumas in which the twins were killed <gasps> by an assailant or assailants. Oshad was heavily wounded and is currently still recovering. I had some idea of this, but it's been some time. It must have been grievous, these wounds. Pulls out the paper and looks at it and kind of, it seems to be grievous, but treatable. And uh, the anger has been asleep for a number of this recovery period. While occasionally conscious is not yet ready to, uh, to make conversation with those who are immediate family. But I will push back, and I assume, and gives you a glance, that this is not an entirely surprising reveal. No. And we don't need to press. I'll let them take all the time they need. I'm not going anywhere. I will let them know that it is perhaps related to them. That would be uh, deeply appreciated. Perhaps that would expedite their interest as well as Bushat's. Next time he is of conscious mind. You know who might have wanted to harm the Loomis twins? Well, there are many individuals from many places that have conflicts with a number of the Marhan houses. Okay. Uh, I am removed from a lot of those politics specifically. Were the Loomis twins good people, or? I did not know them personally, but they were known to be, at least how I assume, they were not involved in anything terribly dire. They were curious, if anything, interests in those of the geological and scientific pursuits, if anything. Broomstone. Did anyone see what happened? I do not know the specifics. You would have to inquire with the house, or at least whoever is responsible for keeping its orders uh, functional while the heads of the house have been slain. Makes sense. Do you have any more information on the nature of these attacks? What happened? I only have what has been rumored and said, but um, what I have been able to eke out is that uh, there was an attack within the house, and their hired protection guards, if you will, uh, did not see or notice the entry. Um, that was all I know. One of those damn holes. It could have been a, a hole again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you have holes in your house? Explain. Lead oh to boy. like the shade creepers. Right. I greatly do not think so. I have not noticed any, and then upon you informing me of these strange creatures, uh, recent maneuvers throughout the infrastructure of the city, I have done a thorough inspection and I've found nothing of the sort. After an attack like this, would the groundskeepers or curators check the house for such a thing as well? I imagine they would. Looking for any sort of unseen entry, means of sneaking within the premises, beneath the nose of their very bodyguard, for someone or someone's to evade the Hound-like nose of the anger speaks of a skilled incursion. That is worrying enough. That doesn't but, sound like a three-foot hole in the wall to me. Well, shit. I think in the meantime, we're 
content to wait on their recovery. Um, but we're, uh, we're doing well together. And in the meantime, if there's anything that we can do to help you and your interests here in the city, I don't think I'm speaking out of turn. We'd be happy to help. I appreciate that. Um, well, he thinks to himself for a moment. Barring this conversation with the Corsairs coming underway, whenever they reach out, at least keep an eye and ear open for their intent to communicate, since you are indeed the bridge between myself and them. Otherwise, there has been a series of mysterious disappearances surrounding the Dreamscape Theater. Oh. Right. Cool. Beware of the theater. Patrons. Destroys the best of us. <laughs> Patrons numbering no more than four over the past six months have vanished, at least those that have been reported to like the wilders. Dur during shows? I do not know the specifics. You'll need to speak with Stuvan Idrio to likely find out more about this, but. Stuvan Idrio. Mm -hmm. Idrio? Idrio. 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 <clears throat> Owner. The Wardens have been supposedly investigating this for a protracted period of time, but have, to no one's surprise, come up short. All right. Is it hard to get tickets to the theater? Not until you have the coin. All right. That is the most immediate thing I can consider. The long game. Well, I'm still keeping a few threads out and about before I could even make use of your skills. We'll talk at that time. Seems to have a bit of discomfort. Digest. Uh, they're, are you okay? <laughs> Maybe I'm just reading your face wrong. I have not sat comfortably in my space for a good number of decades. Well, you need to get a more comfortable chair then. <laughs> That was... <sighs> I understand what you're saying. Continue to work for me, and maybe one day you'll understand what it means to be ever looking over your shoulder. Hmm. That doesn't sound very fun at all. No. But doing the right thing is not always fun, is it? It's true. Well. Do you think it would be possible to get that letter of recommendation for the Starlight Conservatory? Right. Yes, yes, I can begin to draft that immediately. Thank you. My apologies for the delay. No, we, we never signed the contract, so. The contract would make it more efficient, but it is not necessary. I can put the paperwork together, officiate it, and uh, perhaps be able to usher it off for approval to the conservatory. Is that something that goes straight to them or, or, or something we carry into the conservatory? Let me deliver it. Without your specific involvement, that may lend an air of credibility. 
credibility. Credibility mm. to it. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Of course. And I will let you know if I hear anything. At your own time. Quick question. Hmm? Yes. Thought experiment, We're trying to, you know, workshop some things. <laughs> when you look at us as a group, first word pops into your mind. Just don't overthink it. Eclectic. Eclectic, that's, a, that's, that's difficult. Eclectic. I the, um, electric eclectic. Ooh, yeah, that's great. Did I answer well, incorrectly? Eclectic. You seem no, not no, happy with my response. There's, there's, there's no wrong answers here. I was not aware. I, for my late 70s, early 80s kids. <laughs> We're still trying uh, the, the eclectic. The eclectic, the, the eclectic company? Eclectic. Yeah, that's yeah. too, yeah, too the, on the nose. The eclectic us. bells. I apologize oh. if I did not meet your expectations. The bells. The bells Trouble, trouble, trouble. Ah. I am no good at branding. My apologies. Trouble, eclectic, diplomatic immunity. <laughs> well, thank you. We'll let, leave you to your long <laughs> breakfast. Um, thank you, as always. Of course. And if I may leave you with one final piece of advice. Nothing too hard to remember or say. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Simple. Sure. So, so eclectic, eclect. No, okay. We're, we'll work on it. Do not. I steered you in the wrong direction. Before we go, because this breakfast spread, you know, looks fantastic. Um, can I top you off? Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> 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 you watch him go. <laughs> um, it's still warm. <laughs> it's amazing. Hours. It is something. Thank you, fresh cut grass. You're welcome. I'll enjoy this once you've left. And you're like, Smooths <laughs> it to the side of the table. <clears throat> Shout a day to you. Yep. We'll yeah. be back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Long labored sigh. <laughs> well, I feel like we're bouncing around like a uh, pinball machine or something, right? Well, we got we're, options yeah. now. Now we go to. Well, what are the options? Well, like Loomis twins are dead. No option there. Uh, Oshan is still Dream unconscious. Yeah, should we go to the theater? So what? Uh, so what, uh, what? What the fuck is up with that? With, uh, with Which what? part? Uh, yeah, there was um, some sort of incursion. Yeah, what does the anger have to, to do with you? To what you went through? Was oh, there yeah. some sort of incursion? And the Lord said that you you would know, you would be familiar with this incursion, or? Did right. that sound familiar? Did some of the Ashari? What the fuck is up with the Ashari? Fuck that! All right, not right here. Where can we go? We'll just walk and talk. No. Let's walk and talk to the theater. I think it might be. Well, I'm not going to answer your questions while we walk and talk. Oh, it's, the, it's oh, it's like espionage secret. And we are easily followed. We're also out of healing I potions, so if we want to go to like the Prism Emporium us? or some shit like that to like pick up a couple I things. Have one. Oh, you guys have one. Is there anybody following us? Make a perception check. Mm. One. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Nah, we're good, nah. you guys. We're fine. Fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing catches your eye as to being trailed or oddly keeping pace behind you. You feel comfortable. Yeah. Could crowd it. Just all cram into Shadonna's really quick. Have a quick convo. She's yeah, I mean, it's, we're, we're close by. I'm yeah. Gonna... Do you guys want to meet Shadonna? Oh, she's the best. She's so sweet. Very, she's very awake. much so. Yes, I do. She'll make you some mittens, or socks, or scarves. She knits. Sure. All right, let's go. All right. This I gotta see. Who should on it? All right, so you head to the, <laughs> the windowed wall, Vidun Devar. 
It's good to sit on your NPC. Oh. <laughs> you lead the rest of your troop towards the familiar abode that you've both been calling home for the past number of weeks that you've been staying here in the city. Uh, as you approach, you, the rest of you see amongst the, you've been here now a handful of times, the, the colorful, uh, you know, growing neighborhood of, of kind of clustered and stacked buildings on different tiers and levels here at the window wall. Uh, you come to this, this beautiful little homestead that's kind of tucked into this cluster of the neighborhood. You have to climb past a staircase to get to this front porch that is, you can see a lot of love has gone into it, that the paint is like kind of cracking just from age and sun. Um, but it has a beautiful view of the street below. It's only about three tiers up, um, as opposed to the, the higher one where you had the previous day gone and done battle with a creepy, <laughs> weird jelly man, jelly dwarf. But here you can see there's, there's a window that leads inside. It's warmly lit from the interior. The door is closed, um, but it has this kind of sweet, loved-in atmosphere to it. And as you kind of step onto the porch, you can already tell coming through the open window, which it is open, and the kind of gentle breeze is coming through as the, the morning mist has already burned off and the, the day gets steadily warmer. Uh, there's a faint smell of like cooked fruit, like something that has been uh, either fried or slowly heated, and it just has this kind of gentle sweetness to it. Oh, Shadana! Hold on. <laughs> you hear ping, 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 ping. Oh. No, dang uh, it. Oh, well, I just go in and make sure she's okay. <laughs> you look over and there's like a pot on the ground and there's a, a few uh, spilled what looks like uh, some sort of a roasted and steeped uh, like a like a plantain or banana type type fruit, as well as some other leaves and such that are kind of spilled onto the ground. I'll She's go picking start them up. No, oh, no, I'll clean this up. Oh, this. don't worry, I can handle it. No, you should go over. Go meet the go meet the friends. We have company. Oh, Is it all right? That's wonderful. All right, uh, the, a big group. Uh, brace yourselves. Come in. As you all walk in, you see this this delightfully sweet smile on this elderly woman. Uh, you know, darker, uh, deep brown, tanned, uh, wrinkled skin from just life and sun and, and, and vibrancy. Uh, gray, nearly white hair entirely that is right now just kind of let past the shoulders into this steadily spreading kind of uh, boisterous tangle of hair that goes to about her mid back. You guys are used to seeing her having it like pinned back, but now it's just kind of let down and it kind of billows out behind and frames the shoulders. Um, her uh, wrists are thin from her her very baggy, what looks to be uh, crocheted top that she has the shawl over her shoulders and this long skirt, and uh, just kind of looking back and smiling with these these you know. Bright but beady eyes, these beautiful brown uh, irises that peer at each of you and kind of looks at you with a kindness as you enter. Oh, well, it is an honor to have you in uh, my home. I fear that we're out of beds. Um, oh, no, 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 no. But we have room on the floor and oh. I can retrieve. Oh, no, she don't. Some. No, you're so sweet. We're just popping by for a moment. Oh, just well, want to I just. You. Well, I was making lunch. Um, I'll help. Oh, thank you so much. Yes. Uh, this way. <laughs> and she leads you over, and you kind of begin to gather. And you can see as you're like helping her pick up stuff, she's starting to pull from the shelves other fruits that she was kind of probably saving for the next day that she's now kind of adding to this kind of fruit stew kind of arrangement. Amazing. Um, but she needs to prepare it, and it's like, so how do you all become friends with the sweet, dear Laudna and Imogen? Wow. Oh. oh. Mm. Hey, Shadana, I have a question for you. <laughs> yes, of course, my dear. When you look at us, what's the first word that pops into your head? No. <laughs> Just. The sweetest. <laughs> Did you know they came to me in the middle of the night and helped 
uh, get rid of a problem in my late husband's bedroom. They did, they told us about that. That's quite remarkable. They are very sweet. 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 Very sweet. Very the, sweet. The, the sweet. The sweet. Sweet bells. Sweet bells. Sweet bells. Sweet bells. Sweet peppers. Sweet peppers. Yeah, it's like, there's um, a pepper. Yeah. The sweet yeah. sweet. bells. <laughs> the troublesome. The sweet troubles. Sweet troubles. Sweet troubles. Sweet troubles. Sweet troubles. In little trouble. bells. <laughs> yeah. I really want to get bell. Eclectic <laughs> sweet trouble bells. Ooh. I'll stop by the <laughs> market and. and Restock some of this, Shadonna. I'm sorry we're wiping you out right now. It's all right. It's but yeah, if you want to pick some things up, I'd really appreciate it. Should, oh, we've been so I negligent with that. I know. We've been so busy. We're sorry. Oh, it's all right. I have many things to keep me busy as well. Uh, it's, it's not done yet. You see her reach over and pull up from uh, this little, like, kind of comfy chair she keeps in the corner. It's this, like, Bright red and orange and yellow knitted sweater that's like partially done. You can see like it's it's only, you know, from like the shoulders and, and sleeves down, and it's only about there. And goes, I I just felt that you needed a bit more color and uh, oh. oh goodness, Shadonna, that's so sweet. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful. It's a, a bit of a crop top, is it? It's not finished oh, yet. Okay, perfect. Um, but you also don't. Require as much yarn as others. Oh, she's like a stick. You. you should eat more, really. Mm-hmm. She's not wrong. Mm-hmm. It talks. Oh yeah. Oh goodness. Me. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> Where did you find this little thing? Uh, we just sort of bumped into each other. Mm-hmm. Hey, is Shadonna? Mm. Yes. A, sorry, a question. Mm-hmm. Your husband. Right. He worked with the um, the Wilders. The Wardens. The Warden. Mm, yes, yes, a long time ago. <laughs> Do you ever remember him mentioning someone called the Anger? Oh, shy. Not yeah. particularly, no. <laughs> Might have. It was a long time ago. Mm. Mm. Oh, she doesn't know. It's uh, yeah. unpredictable. Yeah, she is. That makes sense. Mm. Did you ever make pottery for any of the Mahan families? There were a few times that I sold some of my finer works to a, n- a number of, uh, I assumed, were part of the Mahan houses. They they paid very well. Oh. Help, helped actually uh, uh, build out this home here at the time. Uh, my husband uh, was, you know, uh, making consistent wages, but uh, uh, I was able to get us a nice place. <laughs> <laughs> what was your um, What was your mark? If we ever find ourselves in one of those homes, would be able to. Oh. <laughs> and she walks over to one of the shelves over to the side of the kitchen, where you can see there's a lot of like bowls and plates that she has there, and she takes one down. And you can see it's this like beautifully uh, sculpted kind of green jade color uh, clay that kind of leads to this somewhat translucent top. Uh, you, you're not quite sure what material mix she used for it to get this kind of uh, you know dense clay to this kind of amber translucence to the tip. It's beautiful. Just this is one of my prized works that uh, I would not sell. Um, and she turns on the back, and on the bottom of it, you can see kind of pushed into the clay, there is the uh, S H I D A N A. Like her name is just kind of gently carved into it. Mm, that's beautiful. Thank you. I've never seen a, a translucent piece of pottery before. Uh, Part of it involves uh, uh, multiple sources of materials here. The basic clay, and then there are, uh, uh, if you can find the right uh, uh, arcane enchanter, they can transmute elements of the, uh, the, the, the mud and the clay to take different uh, material attributes. It's expensive, but it makes for some fine art pieces. How much would something like that have sold for? Oh, I would not sell that piece. No, 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 I know, but similar ones. Mm. Uh, I, 
I would consider that one mostly priceless, but uh, for others who had attempted such things, they can run upwards uh, to 200, 250 gold pieces for mm. uh, something like that. That's amazing. It costs quite a bit for the, uh, the arcane uh, skill set required to complete it, but that is, uh, that is what you have to do when you want to uh, Raise your art form to another level, they say. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot of pottery talk, isn't it? It's lovely. Yeah, it's right? lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'd like a bowl. I'll take a bowl. <laughs> she goes ahead and begins to spoon out for each of you. A, eh? um, it, it's it's boiled down into almost like a syrupy type. Uh, texture to it, and, and it's it, it has very much for for a modern day context a lot of the like kind of syrupy fruit salad you had as a kid in the little cups, oh, like the little. Mm. Oh, I'm into that. But it, but the, the juice, the yeah, 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 the fruit cocktail fruit stuff. Cocktails. But, fruit cocktails. Cocktails. But, yeah. Yeah. but naturally created, not this terrifying no, no, abomination of factory. I love fruit somewhere. cocktails. No, I loved it too. But many marshmallows in it, right? Not oh natural. My God, marshmallows. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm gonna go and uh, slice up some. Crusty bread to give to everyone to kind of cut through the syrupy. Mm -hmm. Go for it, yeah. Um, Shadonna, we have a little bit of business to talk about, but um, yes. just let me know if you are feeling left out. Oh, not at all. Okay. Uh, this is delicious, by the, the way. Thank you. Uh, orange if you and yellow want, and red. I have yeah, a bit of a <laughs> secret if you have the, uh, the taste for it. <laughs> Do you like a bit of spice? I love spice. I'll eat anything. Which is back from the spice rack, looking for the right one, and then pulls the slit and unscrews it and puts a bit of this kind of like oh, yeah. mm. dense brownish red powder into it and says, "Just oh. mix that in a bit. It's a bit of a." Oh, oh, well. what are you oh, in I've there? I've missed a home cooked meal. Because I missed it in there. It's my own special blend. Ah, okay. Do I have to roll something now that I've put it in my mouth? <laughs> No, it's okay. it's 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 like it's it's fruit chili. It's cayenne. It's oh, like so it's cayenne. it just yeah. it just adds like a, like a, a bit of really nice spice like to the sweetness. Fruit. Exactly, yeah. and it just kind of it makes it pop a bit and like kind of like tingle the tongue. Yeah, I'm into it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Orum, do you feel comfortable now uh, telling us what you wanted to tell us? We can go into our bedroom if that makes you feel better. I think that's probably best. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a, quite a possibility Shadana's actually a secret spy. Mm -hmm. Shadana, do you have a straw? You never know. I don't what? think she's a secret spy. Do you have a spy. straw? Like a wooden, with it that's hollow? Oh, right. uh, I, hold on. <laughs> and she goes and takes a stirring stick that is hollow in the center and goes, this could function. That will work, thank you so okay. much. You're welcome. <laughs> Just to make it. Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm gonna use I love this. food so much. <laughs> 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 I love chaos. it so much. Oh, <laughs> man. Jazz is chaos. Jazz is chaos. Jazz is chaos. <laughs> All right, tell us. Okay, we All right, we're, All right, we're in the bedroom. Right. Right. It is a bedroom. very tight Just space. This, yeah. this chamber it's is like <laughs> very tight. It's like ten <laughs> foot by eight <laughs> foot. Are you chosen? This, this singular bed in the center. So when you guys are all in there, you're all you're wait all three like, days. Eat fruit soup. <laughs> <laughs> <so we> get, <laughs> yep, straight <laughs> up. Squished up on the bed. <laughs> yeah. Epic fruit high soup. fantasy <laughs> adventure right here. <laughs> Retirement fruit soup in a tiny bedroom. Let's go. In a fucking grandma house. We're in a tiny bedroom in a grandma house. Everywhere. But while we're here, we can show you the <laughs> hole under the bed. Oh, yes. This is the hole. Oh, this is the hole. Oh, 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 what did you want to tell us? us? Okay, it's all right. Here's the hole. Keep going. What's, what's the deal? <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. So we're cram we're crammed in here. We're all having fruit cocktail. Uh, everyone's got doilies. There's lace everywhere Dish, plus pottery. Uh, all right. So Orem would look out the window at the city for. There's no window. For, there's nothing. It's just us. This is fucking closed space. All right. You can look down into the hole if you want. That's the only thing. Give me a minute. Deep okay. into the anus Leave me alone. of the city. <laughs> uh, then, if there's no window, Drama. then Orem uh, uh, looks. Mantle, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looks at Dorian Fern for a second, and then to Imogen and says, uh, "You probably would have caught this off of me, eventually, anyway." 
That's good. Um, you already know where we're from, where I'm from. Uh, a number of years ago, an attack was made on the seat of power there. What are you writing? <laughs> It was uh, unique. Um, the attack came from out of nowhere and disappeared almost before it started. A few of those assailants were uh, dropped and uh, they evaporated melted before our eyes. That was years ago. Um, left more questions than anything else. Uh, and that's as much as I knew about it for years, until recently. This gets a little tricky. A friend to the Ashari in Whitestone hmm. heard a rumor from a friend. All right. With me so far? Uh huh. Friend. Of Who Whitestone. traveled here? Heard a rumor. Hmm. Traveled here. All right. Friend of Brescio's. Hmm. Spoke with Brescio. Whatever the attack Esteros made reference to was similar. Oh. So you heard of this attack, came out here. More or less, I didn't hear anything. This is above my right. pay grade. So right. who sent you to find out? Uh, I was uh, sent by the leader in my home the voice of the Tempest. So your leader was not one of the people that was killed in this attack? No, very few were. Oh, okay. And it was fast. Um, anyway, word got back that something happened here. Maybe similar. And uh, I've already been afield for a while and was called home, and I brought Fern and Dorian with me, and they sent us here to sniff it out. Mm. That's the whole story. The the people that attacked your village were, what were they after, do you know? Who did they target? Our leader. But they didn't succeed. No. And there's some questions, some debate uh, whether it, it was a legitimate attempt or maybe a test run, but years have gone by since this happened. I'd put it largely out of my mind. Tried to anyway. And now, uh, five, six years later, this rumor came back to my people and, and we're just seeing it through. Do you know anyone who died on that day? Absolutely. Mm, tragic. <laughs> this was how many years ago? Uh, six years ago. This happened in the in your town in 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 Ashari. In the uh, Zephyr, yes. Wait. Zephyr is the name of the town. It's a little more than a town, but yeah. It's like so. Ashari is not the name of the town. The Shari are my people. So the Shari are the people who live in Zephyr and I other feel places. Like it should be Zephronians or Zephyrians. I was, Zephyrians. Just I was thinking confused that. about really that as well. <clears throat> are the people here Drusarians? Yeah. Are Often. they? 
I mean, if you're from here, yeah. Okay. Live here long enough. I didn't found the civilization. Maybe you should (laughs) have. That'd be a trick. You could have fooled me. Well, you could go back in time and change things. (laughs) (laughs) That's a fool's errand, my friend. (laughs) Wow. Okay, okay, okay. So, um. Okay, well, so these attacks may be related. There's someone out on the loose who wants to kill Ashari leaders as well as Drusari leaders. <gasps> the rhyming bandits. Connection. Rhyming bandits. <laughs> That's good. The, the rhyming, evaporating rhyming, rhyming bandits. Rhyming because killer. they just poof out of thin air? No, or do they melt away or do they turn to ash? I mean, Duggar turned to ash. Uh, I watched two people melt into nothing with nothing left behind. Was it magic? Or technology? I I believe, technology. I believe it was arcane in nature. Hmm. Does this sort of thing happen a lot there? Big magic fuck ups? No. No. Well, thank you for telling us. But unfortunately, I don't know that that changes our trajectory very much, does it? No. And you have no further information on the motives on why they attacked. Does your leader owe a gambling debt to someone, Mm. or? Yeah, maybe she got in bad with someone. Not that I'm aware of. Does she have any ties to Drusar? Dabbling in the underworld. Uh, I mean, she is in communication with people all over the world, but again, this is above my pay grade. I'm, sure, I'm sure. a guard, part of her guard, but I, again, I, I don't, and, I, and the, I, present tense, past tense, was part of her guard. Well, if it's important to you, it's important to us, so we'll just keep, keep digging in. I appreciate it. How are you gonna get word back if you do figure it out. Do you have to go all the way back to Zephyr? I haven't thought that far ahead. I uh, probably could find a way. To send word? To send word back, and if need be, I'll go back. Well. Well, then I hope it takes a while, because I do like having y'all around. Oh. Yeah, it's not bad. That's nice. So, I feel like we've got some options. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, but. To the theater again? Well, here's my my feeling is we've put the word out. Plenty of people now know what we're looking for, so I figure that trouble's gonna find us one way or another. Mm. Uh, and in the meantime, we have a lead, and we have a theater, and we have a reason to get, uh, we have a very easy, easy in to the theater. <laughs> oh. Oh, an audition. <gasps> What? Maybe you we can pose as your music. managers. Oh. And your road crew? Mm-hmm. And you mm-hmm. can audition and get in. Or we could just ask the owner. Go to a show, and maybe if you get a show, we can get backstage. We take could, a look We around. could use your friend as well. Ooh, wanny oh. Well, let's go, sc- let's go scope it out. Just see what this <laughs> theater's like. Let's go check like. it out. Let's see if it's fancy, if we got to dress up for it or and not. In worst case, I'm going to, I'm going to, Rustle a few more bushes of my own that I kind of have to do alone at some point. See if I can pull anything out of thin air, but that's that's further down the line. Seems like we've got a lot of irons in the fire. Mm-hmm. Well, you put them out there, something eventually something will snap back. Mm. I don't know if that metaphor worked. No. <laughs> so should we get out of this old person's bedroom? Mm-hmm. Well, technically, it's our. <laughs> Yeah, let's get it. Technically, you are the oldest, I think. I actually don't know that. At the moment, I'm assuming you're the oldest. Hmm. Well, I mean, he might be. Well, he's only two. They're two. Oh, that's true. I no. wouldn't go making bets on it. Ooh. Oh, how old are you, Dorian? Oh, 27. I'll make a bet on anything, I don't know. Inside check. You're like 70 years old or something. Inside also have make an, inside an, check? an impressive skincare regimen. One. <laughs> 27. 27. I am 20, I, I'm 27. 27. It's a Dremel with a, with a polishing uh-huh. wheel. 17, 27. I'm 17. Um. <laughs> All right, we're getting out of here. All right. 
Let's uh, let's go. See if, there's, let's, let's see if there's tickets to the theater. <clears throat> yeah. On the way out, I'll just I'll just. What's her name? Shadana. 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 Thank thank you, thank you for your hospitality, and congratulations on a life well lived and <laughs> and hearts changed not... and love spread. You really did it. Oh, yeah, you're extremely sweet. It's a little macabre. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I appreciate uh, all of you coming. I hope you enjoyed your food. Thank you for the fruit cup. <laughs> Anytime. Mm. Um. On the way out, I'm just going to give Shadana 20 gold. Oh, oh, Imogen, this is far too much. I, I, this is. Please, uh, this, I don't even know what to do with this. I'm gonna tuck it away in her knitting supplies. I'm gonna leave. Right. Oh, yeah. uh, we'll bring back some produce. Thank you. Uh, potatoes. potatoes! Potatoes! If you don't mind. Write it potatoes. down, potatoes. Are you almost out of eggs? Um, eggs, yes. <laughs> Oh, I ate all the bread, bread. Bread as well. Eggs, bread, potatoes. You're so kind. Yeah, Thank you. Pick up more plantains as well. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> really iffy on plantains, but okay. Yeah. Maybe we, we'll mix it up. We'll see what's on uh, in the market. We can continue to red play the shopping list if you no, like. Yeah. No. No. But <laughs> I, <laughs> I mean, that, that I voice is French. entertaining. But yeah. I don't know where the mm. fuck that came from. I love her. I want French toast oh. with plantains. Oh, oh God. 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 That was so right. Good. Oh, no. So good. Anyway. All right. So Sorry, you are heading towards <laughs> where? The theater. The theater. All right. Oh, the theater. Now, you know exactly where it is, though you have not been a patron of it in a long time, if at all. I go to a show on occasion. Yeah. Um, but as, as Ashton brings you around, it's on the opposite side of the core spire where a majority of the main streets are here. It sits in a space where there are other you know, shops and kind of a, a, a smaller thoroughfare than like with the Spire by Fire and the main street is uh, as it prefers to domineer over the space that it occupies. And you can see why as you come around the corner, even in the like kind of midday, late afternoon uh, time that you arrive, you can see amongst the other you know, one to two story uh, buildings that you can see at a glance are either residential or you know, smaller business oriented. Already, you can see the three story, almost pagoda esque display of this scalloped, multi tiered roof that is covered in uh, dangling, magically lit baubles that just kind of swing with the wind. And as they glow, even bright enough that in the mid-bright jungle daylight, they still can't help but catch your eye as you turn the corner and see the uh, deep crimson, uh, purple trim set roof that sets this tiered rising structure. And there upon it, you can see all manner of posters that are placed upon each level. And you can see performers and dancers like frozen in time. And as you look and focus, you watch, they're not frozen. They're gently moving. Each of these is some sort of an arcane image that is placed upon the side that is capturing a moment in time that slowly passes. You assume from either some past performance or some hopeful artistic endeavor, but it is a kinetic sculpture as much as it is a structure. And as you get closer, you can see in the lights there are posters, there is a soft music that emanates from within, a massive double door that is gilded in gold around the edges. It is extravagant. It is dare I say, gaudy in comparison to everything else around it. You see a neighborhood that consists of earth tones and muted colors, and in the middle of it is this screaming gem of a structure that's saying, come and look at me. <laughs> this is the Dreamscape Theater. So. You can see at this point in the afternoon, it looks like there isn't uh, a performance happening but there are people that are beginning to arrive, people that are entering, and you do see uh, within the immediate entrance, there appears to be two pedestals and individuals that are having conversations or taking tickets. You're unable to see from this distance, but there is a little bit of, of business going on within the interior. Um, should we just go see if we can talk to the owner? Sure. Sure, I'll walk up to the person 
Okay. Well, I mean, they might not want to talk about patrons getting kidnapped from their premises. What if we say, oh, we're not allowed to say who we were sent by. What if we Are we ever allowed to say who we were sent by? Oh. Mm. We could. Mm. Or could we see what's playing tonight? Mm-hmm. That was my thought. Yeah, sure. Okay. Get some tickets. See some, see a, see a show, you know, for work. Maybe we could just start with rumors with other audience members, oh, yeah, gossip yeah, yeah. and scuttlebutt. Mm. Look at that. That and um, any employee loves to gossip. That too. Mm. What do the other people look like that are coming in here? Are they dressed up or are they dressed down or is it normal? Uh, at a quick glance, you can see it's it's an array, um, but the baseline is moderate to some that are a little well, a little more well dressed for an evening out at a performance. Um, you do see wandering in the outskirts a couple of uh, what would be considered the, the lower class folk of Drusar, um, but some of them are kind of looking hopeful, or others are just kind of maybe waiting for other individuals that they're meeting up with. Um, it's kind of a widespread here, and you get the sense that that this isn't like an exclusive space that only caters to like the Mahan houses and the elites of the home. This is this is definitely a place that has has a tiered structure to welcome anyone who has the gold to pay and to see the performances that, that can be found within. You know, if you volunteer as an usher, you can see it for free. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Definitely. Standing no, room only. No experience uh, with that. Wow. It's no, too real. It's just a thing I heard. <laughs> Should I check on tickets? Yeah, let's see yeah. what's, yeah, let's let's what's going on. Okay. Is there a ticket booth? Ticket window? Uh, as you, not not like a window at the <laughs> exterior. This is not a, a classic scene. Just asking a question. <laughs> but glancing inside, you can see there are two individuals that are dressed in what looks to be similar attire. That is like uh, long black, almost like drapery-like robes that like fall off the mantle and cover most of their material, almost like most of their form. It looks almost like it's a, a long dress that essentially obscures most of their body beyond, beyond their hands. It looks to be a little bit of gold trim around it that matches what you can see. Inside of the main kind of antechamber that leads deeper into the theater, in the actual main performance chamber, uh, similar kind of black aesthetic with gold trim around it. And you can mm. kind of at a glance see there is a familiar uniformed connection between them. Mm. You see to the right of you uh, an engaged in conversation with probably a, a, a little more, you know, middle class couple and kind of a little bit of laughing, passing conversation. A um, human woman, probably in her early 40s. Um, who is engaged there, and to the right, you see currently unattended, as the individuals they were speaking with move into the main theater proper, uh, a um, halfling man in probably his late 20s or so is standing on a pedestal to match the height of the other <laughs> individual, uh, but the uh, the cloak they're wearing, that, that kind of robe aesthetic, moves past and beyond and puts them on a similar stature. If it's only the proportions mm-hmm. of the shoulders and the arms and your familiarity with traveling with Orm for so long that immediately lets uh, let's free the, the idea that this is a halfling individual. Um, but you see him, he has a very, very well-trimmed beard that is tight to his you know, somewhat uh, thin face and features. Uh, his hair is definitely like combed at, an, at an, a unique kind of swish of an angle. It gives it up almost like a, a, a thin, artistic presentation of uh, what would be considered the general aesthetics of the city around you. And as you kind of make eye contact with him, he glances over to you with arms open. Oh, yes, hello. <laughs> um, is, is, is this where you purchase tickets for the show? If you have not already purchased a ticket for the afternoon, a matinee performance, uh, you may purchase them here, yes. Okay, how much are they? Uh, where do you wish to sit? There are three sections of uh, which you can uh, purchase. Seats are available. The matinees are not quite as busy this day, but if you would like uh, the uh, front stage seating arrangement, that would run about 10 gold per seat. If you prefer the um, kind of middle uh, region of it, about a gold per seat. And if you would like the Challenged back seats, those will <laughs> oh run you about two silver a seat. Hmm. You might want to oh, rethink their section. Is there, I know. 
Are there any seats like box seats that, mm -hmm. that overlook the rest of the audience as well? Uh, there are, but I believe they are currently sold out for the matinee. My apologies. Could we? Okay. Do what you need any ushers? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we're fine, but thank you. We volunteer. All right, okay. We're good, thank you. All right. What about for the evening performance? Oh, ushers? No, the no, the box seats. I'd have to look at the, uh, the current sales schedule, but usually the evenings are busier than the matinees. Right. We can wait while you look. Uh, are you sure they're sold out? And I'm going to reach oh. into my coin purse and I'm going to pull out uh, 10 platinum. <gasps> oh! Wait a minute, I wait a minute. Rich. How much I fucking money do you have? You have 10 fucking platinum? All right. You pull out 10 platinum and he looks at you strangely and Whoa. then his eyes go wide. Oh, I'm sorry, there must have been a mistake. Uh, oh, there, there is. Uh, indeed, availability within the uh, left box seating arrangements that, of course, immediately at your disposal. Big mistake. Huge. Huge. <laughs> you work on commission? <laughs> Thank you so much for your help. And I'm going to shake his hand with the money. <gasps> you're going to give him the. Oh. You're giving him 10 platinum for that? Yes. You're giving him 10. Okay. Oh, it is, it is my <laughs> indeed my absolute pleasure. Um, and do not worry, we will handle and take care of everything that you and your compatriots would need for the evening. <laughs> evening or afternoon? Did you get did you get matinee or, or, or evening ticket? Right now. Well, right now, matinee. Oh. Is As, there? Yeah, we'll say. Look at that, it's sunset. Hey! hey! Oh, oh, even better. Oh, yeah. sunset, we had a very oh, nice yeah. little lunch. The night comes on fast here. It's, it's, it's yeah. a jungle, you know, right on the well, yeah, it's the time of the year where this just, sun yeah, goes down. It's earlier. like four o'clock. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a joke for the Americans. Uh, immediately, like, kind of claps and kind of looks off to somebody you don't notice, and you see like two individuals behind a, a curtain within this main antechamber, kind of like look, and they wander off. What were you gonna say? Is there? Um, do you have auditions? How does that work? For, uh, not for the show tonight. There is. Uh, it is very much a set troupe. Performing. Who's playing? Uh, this is. Uh, <laughs> uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Here we go. Kendra's flying lauders. Kendra's flying. flying what was that last word? Lauders. Like a lauders. Rhymes with otters. Mm -hmm. Kendra's. Oh, I wish it was otters. <laughs> Man, I'd pay money to see the otters <laughs> fly. Flying fly. otters. Yeah. Flying Would otter. You pay ten platinum <laughs> for a flying otter, wouldn't you? Yeah. I mean, fair. Before you show us to it's our seats, um, we've heard tell that uh, some of the patrons have just jumping in, gone ma gone missing. I, I I have not heard of such a thing. That's oh. so that's that's absurd. Rumors that spread. Uh, in this city by ilk folk. How are you talking? You're, uh... Well, everybody I'm talks. Terribly sorry. I, I, I believe your, um, your machine is malfunctioning. Inside check. I mean, 11. He knows. 11? You, you, you don't get much, but you get the sense this isn't a line more than a, like, what are you doing? We're, yeah. we're we're in a public space here with people who are paying tickets to be here. What are you? No, of course that never happened. Okay, you get the sense this is, this is someone denying something that maybe they're, like, they're just like, no. Yeah, it's not like they were gonna. Yeah. Okay, good to know. I really love your jacket. Oh no. Thank you. Oh no. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to take the ten platinum out of his pocket. Whoa! Whoa! Make a sleight oh of hand. My oh my god! god. <laughs> this is dumb. I love dumb. Cut. Oh god! Dirty twenty. <gasps> oh, dirty twenty, dirty twenty, dirty twenty. Roll. As you lean in and kind of like. Grab the ropes. What a lovely lapel. Oh, thank you so much. It's it's, it's um it's part of the the attire of the establishment. 
Um, but uh, it is not for sale. He takes it and like, tugs it back. It is, oh, it is, I, of course not. It is our uh, presentation aesthetic, if you will. Oh, just so well made. Well, thank you. Uh, well, given the fact that you are uh, uh, patrons of the arts to a certain degree, if you wish to find the name of the individual responsible for making these fine garments. Oh, I could yes. pass that to you before the end of the show tonight. Oh, I would love that. I'll go ahead and ask around. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, uh, hello, Siran. Uh, could you please show our um, guests to uh, the lower right box as they are our esteemed guests and patrons for the night? Thank you. You see as a. Uh, uh, Dragonborn comes from through the curtain. Looks like a, an, an older Dragonborn, like the, the scaled brows are droopy on the eyes a bit, and the snout kind of drags a bit. Um, it's kind of like dark blue scales that kind of go to like a lighter blue at the, at the tips of the snout. Oh, um, and yeah, very much like a Dragonborn Basset Hound. And kind of comes oh. through and says, Okay, <laughs> I'll show you to your box. And kind of like shuffles past and leads you on, wearing a similar garb, though shorter, not quite as long as the, the halfling as you pass by. Uh, you do recover six platinum. Hey. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. I wasn't going to take all of it. Of course. So this is good. Okay. Great. 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 Mm. Sir, you, you, you like working here? Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. What's that? Oh, it's been fine. I've been here most of my uh, tenure oh, here at Drusa. Oh, yeah. 21, 21. Let's say, one of the reasons we came down, we've been hearing like crazy rumors about some of the stuff going down here. Now, like, off the record, you wouldn't have any, like, Interesting story. We've heard people disappearing, strange things happening at the theater. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> nope. Four. <laughs> oh my God! You're so I'm bad. terribly sorry, sir. I haven't heard anything like what you're yeah, talking yeah, no, about. We are but a, a humble home for the arts here yep. in Drusar, and yep. I'll show you to your. Sorry, seats. sorry, I asked. That's good. Um, as you are all kind of walking through, I guess kind of like what order are you guys heading in? Oh, oh, marching order. Uh, I imagine Dorian would have been in the lead. The back, Depends. Right? I don't know how you're feeling. <clears throat> yeah, if everybody stick with the act of imp air of importance. Yeah. All right. I'm in the back. I'll be okay. next to Dorian. Mm -hmm. I'll be next to you. How about the dead lady in the center? That's fine. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be next to FCG, wherever that was. Okay. All right. Look like three bodyguards walking behind him. Mm hmm. You all are led to the box. There's, I guess, a small door off to the side that leads you to a staircase that leads you into the lower box where you're situated before it passes on to the, uh, the upper level. And there inside, you can see it's only six chairs arranged in the space. Uh, and uh, the, the dragonborn gentleman is, oh, my apologies, there must have been a miscount. We only have six seats in this That's box. That's all right, I, I don't need to sit. I'll be fine. Very well. Enjoy the show. And kind of closes the curtain behind him as you all stand there. The stage is lit, though, empty, with the curtain closed at the moment. All right. Have you been to we... shows like this in the past? I mean, do you know what we're going to see? No, nothing like it. Did they is... give you a playbill or anything? Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't get one. Oh. Did... What's that? Check my seat for a playbill. Sitting what? on the seat for us. There is no playbill. <laughs> no. I'm just no wait What's the biggest place you all knew? No, I was just scanning the audience, scanning the room, seeing oh, good how idea. good of That's a probably more important. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. So, what was the last show you saw? The, the, <laughs> the rest of the crowd. Sixteen. Are we? Here. How high is this seat? You're not. You're not in the the upper box. You're in the lower box below it. Uh -huh. So you're maybe like. Ten feet above okay. the floor. Okay. Perfect. So you're you're still, like mm -hmm. you you guys are you guys are actually really good seats. You're you're just above stage level, on the left hand side. Awesome. That's good for anything. Mm -hmm. What'd you want? Sixteen. Sixteen. 
I mean, people are filtering in. It looks like it's probably not going to be a full house for this matinee, but uh, it'll, it, it's got a decent enough crowd. People from all over coming in. You can see up the front, of course, there are people that are well dressed, that are making a night of this experience. This is like the first step of, of their evening out. Uh, other folk are filling the space. To the very back, you can see there are a handful of what looks to be kind of soot covered workers that are in the process of kind of like taking off gloves that they came here right after work. And some of them look excited, like they're. This is something they've been looking forward to. This is their their treat for the week, if you will. And then um, trying, trying to clock people, trying to clock exits. Just want a kind of general sense of who's where, if anyone's hanging back. Yeah, yeah totally. From our angle, can can we see into the wings a little bit, if, from where we're at at all? On the diagonal. Yeah. Uh, on a diagonal? No, because the, the curtains are closed. Okay. Um, oh, they're closed. Okay. I, there, there is a small pocket there, but it's so darkly lit from this distance. Make a perception check for me. Good call. Uh, 18. 18. Uh, you can see in, you can see some motion back there. Not much okay. beyond that, but as you like scan back. Oh! Whispers, whispers! Oh. Mm. So oh. many whispers from that. We're just playing, we're yeah, playing Dr. Whisper. Whisper. The Alexandria Postcard six pack <laughs> set features postcards from Amon, Rex and Trim, Roshana. Aor, Ankarel, and Vasselheim. Roshana. Roshana. What did I say? You said Roshana, but so it should Rosh. be Roshana. Happy Rosh Hashanah, everybody. <laughs> uh, Whitestone joggers <laughs> exist. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, back. that's it. <laughs> They're very comfy. They are. Oh, yeah. I'm wearing the. You're wearing the McDonald's ones. Buy them. <clears throat> Sorry. Or rent. <laughs> Share. Okay. <clears throat> I've never even been in a building like this. Mm-hmm. This is the largest you've ever played. Nothing like this, ever. It's amazing. Mm. <laughs> I'm kind of just excited for the show, but I know we have things to do, but I'm excited for the show. No, can, no, I, no. can I be both? Is that all? Is this like a Lord, Lord C or Lord D? Like how many, <laughs> how many <laughs> seats? <laughs> Do Lord Boy, this it still exists? <laughs> What's the equity contract? Is it seven sixty-eight a week? <laughs> Boy, this is the group for this event. I don't know if anybody else can appreciate what's happening as much as this group can. There's a few of you guys out there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all the theater kids are watching. Oh yeah. How many seats in the house? Uh, at a quick, roughly. Roughly, at a quick glance, you'd say probably in the neighborhood of 200, 250. It's not. It's not massive. I want to go back oh, to the theater. Oh, it's tiny. Hmm. Yeah. Well, by okay. Com- right. by comparison. But so I have don't look up. They're comfortable. They're not like tight. You know, like packed modern theater seats. Like every mm. seat is somewhat comfortable and spread mm. out a bit in the Cabaret space. Style. Mm. Yeah. So like room at the front for. Yeah. All right. All right. I'd say like actually including the very very back row, which is a little more just scattered stools and stuff. There's probably additional hundred seats beyond that that are just like. You know, uncomfortable wooden stools to sit on, but the actual yeah, seat seats you see are probably about 250. Old school, you got to rent the pillow. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, is it, um, how, how are the ceilings? Can I see? Is there a grid? Is <laughs> there is. <laughs> is there a catwalk? Can, can oh. people come in Phantom of the Opera style? They, they've been running Phantom, so there's a giant there's chandelier. There's a giant chandelier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still yeah, swaying from the, from the previous Ready performance. Yeah, and just like Phantom, the cast has done it 600 times, and you can and tell it's just, just not into it. They are just <laughs> fucking over and ready to jump into a river. Um, this I swear by <laughs> the stars. <laughs> oh no. Anyway, um, there is no grid, um, but 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 you do see there are uh, two upper platforms in each, like far end, a little bit back and above the the box above where you are, where you can see there are individuals holding some sort of like tubed arcane uh, device that has like a faint glow at the tip. You're uncertain what it's used for. Um, yeah. Exactly. T-shirt cannon first. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Roll to attack. <laughs> T-shirt's gonna fuck with your AC, man. Yeah, yeah. Put that on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the uh, dragonborn usher that brought you here kind of comes through the curtains once more. I'm terribly sorry. Um, you 
uh, there is a patron who wishes to speak with you. Uh, oh, um, well, a patron? Sure, where, where, or? It is below. They can come up here. They're not allowed up here. But we paid for this, and can't we have anybody up here that we want? I, I suppose so. Uh, bring them up. Unless you want to go alone. No, no, I don't. Hmm? Okay. I'll go ask. Thank you. Shuffles back out and heads down. Patron, 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 patron. Oh, yeah. okay. I just felt. I like the flex. Yeah, that was a good flex. No, I just felt. I didn't want you to go alone. Mm. These no, whoppers are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had one in a while. I do not know who would know me here, but I will say this. As our friend said, we are very conspicuous, and I, I, I saw someone from the Corsairs. What? Here? Following us. How do you know? Oh. I saw oh. them, we saw them before, at the Elder? I can't recall the name. All right. Elder Spice? Yes, yes. Mm. But we'll see who this is if what? they come up. And if they don't, if you go down, maybe you should take one of us with you, just as a mm -hmm. say. Happily. I'd rather not die, yeah. Happily, happily. I am in the mood to punch something. Um, a few moments pass, and you can see when people are filtering in, finding their seats, you begin to see a handful of musicians that are beginning to head over towards the front of the stage into a small pit up front, and they all look like they're just coming to punch in for the day. <laughs> <laughs> Too real. Sad. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> We've all been there. Um, until eventually the uh, usher returns again. Um, the, the, the patron is, well, wishes to speak with you alone. <sighs> Oh, just a moment. Of course. I guess you gotta go. Sending stone? Oh, oh that's a good oh. idea. Or do you wanna like, yeah, be a mouse also, or something on his shoulder? Like a few minutes. Oh. <clears throat> I, I toss you the sending stone anyway. All right, remind me. What is this? I have it. Rub, rub it with your rub, 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 and then say it. Yeah, you will say it. But I've got a thing. I, I will have mental connection with you for a few minutes at least. All right. Would you like me to come with you, or do you want to go alone? I think you said I have to go alone. Yeah, if she can be. Sick. Try and try and stay within sight, and if you're not in sight of this box, make sure that where you are is in that message. I'll come running at full speed. All right. Let's see if you can meet him in the house. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, keep it public. Uh, all right, I, I, I guess I'll go. <clears throat> to use the restroom anyway. <clears throat> and I'll go downstairs. Okay. You head down the stairs uh, a little bit after the usher's already left, and as you're heading down the stairway, make a perception check for me. I don't like this at all. I don't either. What if this is how people get mm -hmm. taken? Oh, five. Five. Mm -hmm. As you're about to leave the staircase into the open light, of the arrangement, uh, you feel a hand grab your chest from the side, a person who was kind of hiding in the shadow there that you didn't notice, who just kind of holds you there. And a voice goes, what are you doing? Uh, we, we're, we're just here to see a show. No, what are you doing? I, I'm, 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 we're searching for, we heard someone was missing here, we're, you look up and you can see like the the gauntleted hand of the leather-clad individual, the hood, just barely visible from the light that's creeping through from beyond the curtain from the main chamber itself, holding you there. <sighs> Pulls the hood back and you can see there's the square jaw and kind of wavy mop of shoulder-length black hair with the gold septum piercing, sea glass green eyes of the burly, familiar visage of Cyrus Wyvernwind. Oh, what was that? What? Who goes, what are you doing? I'm on my own. Let go of me, and I'm gonna push his hand away. Nervously about. 
We need to talk. Here now? Soon. Fine. Just... How are you here? How, how did you get away? Same way you did. No. But mother... Father, what, what are they doing without you? I don't know. I just... followed your lead. As he looks down at you, your taller brother, Maybe we are meant to wander, I don't know. And his hand reaches out, and this time less aggressively, but just kind of presses it against your chest and says, we'll talk. We should. After. All right. Then he just goes through the curtain back into the main room. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, I'll take a minute to collect myself and um, uh, give it a second, however long I think it would take, and uh, then I'll go back upstairs, <clears throat> shake it off, and. Um, I'll pull back the curtain to our booth. <laughs> uh, just a lot of nothing. Someone who'd seen me play at a, uh, well, I told you I'm from here. Uh, they, they saw me play and saw me up in the seats and they were wondering if I was part of the show, if I knew anyone, it's just, a, just an old patron. <laughs> You're famous. No. <laughs> well, I, I guess so, if, if someone's recognized me Pretty from that cool. far away. Thanks. Pretty I'm, cool. Appreciate it. Anyway, I'm so excited for the show. <laughs> At this point, you start hearing the different instruments beginning to warm up a bit, begin to play. The interior of the room, the chatter and laughter and whispers and the sounds of, of an audience growing impatient begins to subside as the music begins to swell. As okay. the lights begin to brighten from those two platforms, an arcane beam of magical sunlight emitted onto the stage from above, onto the curtain. As the room falls into silence, beyond the music playing, as you all adjust to your positions and look out over, Dorian, you just can't help but be lost in thought. As we finish there for the oh, yeah. Yeah. Damn it, oh. I'm just gonna sneak one last little detail in there, and that is that as soon as Dorian gets back, uh, Orem uh, untenses his hand and realizes how hard he's been gripping uh, Sending Stone, mm -hmm. and then shoves it back into his back. You got it. We'll pick up from there next week at the Dreamscape Theater. <laughs> so much, so much intrigue. Oh, I want to go to the theater. You got a brother? I do. And you got a letter? Yes, I do. You got three. Of them, and you're so. dead. And you got <laughs> money. <laughs> what the fuck's we that about? We learned so much. About <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> All righty, we'll pick up from there next week. Damn it! I want to keep playing. I know, I know. Thank you all so much for joining us. We'll see you next week between this adventure. We love you very much, and is it Thursday yet? Is it Thursday? Yeah. Yeah.